Would you ever go to Pride, Darren? Uh, I mean, I've been to gay nightclubs before. One of my friends, he'd been before. And he's like, yeah, come along. It's seven pound entry, all you can drink. So I'm a student in it. So I'm like, all you can drink, fine. Then as soon as you pull up uh, on the outside, it has an advert that says, for a night, booty love. And I was like, nah, this oh, is too much for me. This is too God. much. And then the, they had poppers in the air conditioning as well. What's that? Why? Why? What's, what? uh, what's that? What's that? What's that? So poppers is like a, I don't know what the actual proper term is for the drug, but I know nitrate. In, they put in, they put drugs in the aircon. God damn. So what happens is a lot of, um, so some um, gay guys will take poppers because it relaxes some oh parts of the body. God. See, listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> uh, all, all I'm saying is. <laughs> Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, rodents and other small insects, welcome to episode 28 of season 2, eloquently saying nothing, I am Stavros Bus, your host, and to my left we have Mr. Wolf in the building. While in the building, what's good? I'm not black, I'm OJ. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, we need to talk about the album, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, Simple yeah. Simon, they are. And uh, we have a special guest in the room, all the way from down the road. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's me. It's Griff, Griff the Joker, Darren Griffiths. So many names. <laughs> so it's true, man. We should have put the yardy. No, the Caribbean yeah. quarter has increased. Yeah, increased That's coming back, my boy. Everywhere. That's coming yes. back, my Seven boy. Came with <laughs> Martin <laughs> Roti, everything. There's patty everywhere. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, um, tell us about yourself before we get started, <clears throat> just so the, the the fans can uh, find out who you are. Yep, sure. Uh, I am stand up comedian, podcaster as well, um, and radio host. Do lots of things. Try Ooh. to be funny. Um, win competitions. Win yep. money. There you go. I've got bars too. I've got bars. <laughs> yes, yeah, so he's a newly crowned X Factor comedy or comedy X Factor yep. before we think that he's got Simon Cowman. Comedy X Factor winner. That's right. How many uh, people were in that competition? Two. Um, yeah, just two. Just two. Yeah. <laughs> the other person didn't turn up. Um, I started to tell my jokes though, so um, it's still a victory. Still a victory. Now, there was um, seven, seven people in the competition. That's a um, healthy number. Yeah. But I, I I won it. I was better than the rest. So but were um, there any women among them seven? There was two. Ooh, two women. Mm. Ooh. Did they look good? Because that's the important. Is that thing. a joke? No. <laughs> okay. Um, I like to keep it professional when I'm on stage. <laughs> uh, I was focused on my, the jokes and my performance. You're gonna have to work with these ladies <laughs> again, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Yep. It's a small world, the comedy world. <laughs> I see. Just say yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're both. You say yes, and then they will start. Or they will be later. It's not ugly, so they might be on yeah, him. Yeah, but if he, and he doesn't want say that, yes, he might not want that, that trouble. But if he doesn't say yes, then he's people. Here's the question: ugly, Would Simple it? Simon touch them on the cuff? <laughs> no, that is so no. sleazy. No, no, yeah, that that, sleazy, that worried me from last week's podcast, man. It that, worried you. That worried me. I was, I was like, how, why? <laughs> Back in the eighties, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wonder what happens if two comedians get into a relationship. How it works is they try to be funny with each other you know what I listen time. to a lot of uh, podcasts from New York mm. uh, with com- and a lot of comedians do podcasts a lot of comedians do yeah. podcasts and uh, apparently it's a, it's a it's a thing where they they say they don't want to hook up with other comedians yeah man but because of the lifestyle of a comedian it's convenient they too. say that only a comedian understands another, a comedian because the way they work the type of world they, they, they work in the way they um they mix together. It's kind of like the music field where they, they always have to socialise. They're always mixing. And it's like people will do a show, finish at 1, 2 a.m. and then go out. Especially, well, especially these are New York people. I'm assuming it's similar in London. And then they'll be going out to eat 2, 3 in the morning. And it's like if you live a 9 to 5 kind of life, that doesn't relate to you. You don't get it. And then you're, you're missing times. You don't spend enough time mm. with each other. And it's like it doesn't work when we work with us. They call them squares. It doesn't, oh. it doesn't work when we work <laughs> well, with no, squares. I, I call them muggles. So look at this guy. What I say? In fact, that links, that links to what I was going to say next. Actually, so a, a non-comedian is a muggle. Is a, a muggle. muggle? Yes. Uh, you know what a muggle is? No. 
All right, if you don't watch Harry Potter, that's why. Right. Or you don't read yeah. Harry Potter. Yeah, well, Harry Potter, when they when they call you a muggle, that means that you're mere human. <laughs> you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not on their level type thing. Wow. But going about that muggle thing, because another thing people that you are want, up, want, just, want, it took me to my face. Another people that are worrying one about if they they ever hook up together is uh, ma- uh, ma- um, magicians. Mm. I wonder if magicians hook up with each other. What play hide the penis? Yeah, <laughs> man, just <laughs> ta in this bitch when they wake up in the morning. <laughs> Dick in the mouth. Dick is there, boy. Suddenly, yeah. dick is in the floor. This exactly. I'm gonna make this dick disappear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah and then she. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's I'm, for, I'm for my next trick. I'm gonna come and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what I wanted to ask you, you're a comedian, so I can ask you this now. Yeah. Uh, I actually put this on Twitter today because, like, it just popped into my head, and I wondered. Mm. Sarcasm. And yeah. He wondered. Is that uh, purely comedy, or is it? potentially bad mindedness I think it's the perfect cocktail of both hmm. I agree with that because in the end it, it, you are at times trying to be bad mind I'm very sarcastic with my uh, missus and she does not like it in any way shape or form yeah, my, but yeah. I think it's hilarious yeah that's it it's, it's undermining isn't it sarcasm is it, that what it is, is that it under- is, it's, is undivided like it's only when you get like told about yourself after you've done it then you acknowledge it's undermining but I'm I'm naturally sarcastic. So am I. I'm like I'm yeah. just, I live there. That's my default response to something is to take the piss. I do it at something. work as well. Yep. And they say to me that they don't know whether I'm joking or not. Yeah, but you're dealing with Russians, bro. No, this is <laughs> uh, it's English people there as well. <laughs> oh, okay. But like they 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 said to me legit. You know what? I, I don't really know if you're joking. There's one American guy. I want I want English. But guy. how's your face when you're doing it? No, That's my face is straight. It's sarcasm. Come on now. No, no, no. But I'll, you don't need to have a straight face to be sarcastic. You've just got a general poker face. Who me? As a standard, yeah. Okay. That is true. Goddamn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One time. You know I can't play poker. Oh, you should learn it. I, you I might learned, get 500 I, I, pounds. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. I learned at school. We used to play for matches. You learned as poker a ma- at school. Yes. Fifth as a matter minute. of fact, the, the math teacher taught us. Was he, it? He's, wow. This is how you learn maths in East London. <laughs> it was, it was a, get get yeah, the cards North, out, mate. It? it was Enfield. I went to school in Enfield. Oh, sorry. Get the cards out, mate. Yeah, we we played for matches at, at, at lunchtime. So I used to play poker at, but I forgot. I've totally forgotten how to play. Was that in the eighties? That was way way back. I think Stav knows how to play poker. He's probably the only yeah, one he does. to play it. Yes, yeah, so I play poker. I go to the casino. I play poker. Well, I haven't done it in ages. Uh, sometimes my wife comes with me, and she'll she'll have to chill out in the, playing the, the roulette table. Family, yeah. I'm just waiting for the baby to get old enough so I can take her too. Then we're not going William Hill for fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, we're going out William Hill. Go watch the Rams. Go the Rams. Go watch the Rams. Uh, just and yeah, the know. wife plays. Uh, what was it that happened recently? The whole Grand National. Um, yeah, Ascot. She, yeah, she. Ascot. Uh, Ascot. She always. Uh, she always a dip. Yeah. Dibble. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's a family thing. Because I, I think she, I think like she must do it. I think gambling is healthy, though. I think it's healthy. I think. I think it should be a part of everybody's. You gamble in bed as well. Sometimes I do. there's times where I'm tired and I know that I'm I not going to be able to in bed. Hashtag well, team bear back. It's about, it's about <laughs> that's, 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 that's how you gamble. That's how you gamble. <laughs> that has to be like I don't gamble. The, I don't gamble. That has to be like one of the top three things for being in a long term relationship. You know, What's that? the ability to just decide that condoms no longer have to happen. It's a top what? That must be like in the top three things for being in a relationship, long term relationship, that you can just decide, you know what, maybe we just don't need condoms. I trust you, you, you trust me. Is that a gamble? Is it a gamble? That's a Hopefully gamble. not. What do you mean by top three? I'm confused. Like, there's other stuff. Oh, you think yeah, number one? What are the. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what I'm, what I'm saying is. What are the best things about being in a relationship? Oh, the best. Okay, okay, okay. That's what you switched. mean. Best thing. I, was thinking, I thought you were saying like top three things that, that signify to you that you're in a relationship. No, 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 no. no there's bad bearback there. They don't even know the person. They've never yeah, met them before. It's true, it's true, it's true. It's true, it's true. Just putting it in But there. sometimes a bearback can start a relationship. It's true. <laughs> it's not it's true <laughs> because <laughs> the breed, they, they get breeded and then you, that's a relationship from there. You don't have to be a breed tick. It's like, you might just like, the bearback happens and then she looks at you and you look at her and you're like, oh, yeah. just got steady in it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we started now. Yeah. Started. We might as well finish, boy. You bet, you've heard it. Start as you mean to go on. Well, you can't go back from here, innit? Here we go. No, but when you do dip it in, Hang on, what? Uh, <laughs> when you dip that in, sometimes it, the feeling is deep. In. Oh, you know, it's, I'm telling you, it's it's like, I don't know, man. It's like, well, hold on, before you continue, I just want the listeners to paint this picture in your head. Yeah? Paint the picture that Mr. Wolf is about to throw on your was, face. I was, I was just going to say the American <clears throat> Python. I've never done it. But um, someone did tell me that it's almost as if 
you stick your dick in warm jelly yeah oh. and then and then in the jelly there's like massaging hands inside what are you th- what kind of alien pussy is this what, what are you talking about when something's massaging your hand <laughs> yeah. no, jelly, when, like burn yeah. like you the most like sensitive alien. part of your body <laughs> this is, this is pussy jelly. or pirate or yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm confused <laughs> Bro, it's like warm jelly man no what, no what? it's not like warm jelly hang on hang on wait what's like warm jelly the poon tang it's like warm jelly it's almost like warm ain't warm jelly just liquid no Wait, how can you warm jelly no no I'm interested just, this just, is sounds just, like some special imagine, vagina I haven't just, had this just one before imagine that the jelly is warm and it's in its natural form you get me it is, we ain't talking about jelly in a literal form <laughs> yeah. oh, and shit. the sound <laughs> oh god that's so grim and that's Stavros boss doing that sound by the way why, are you, why are you baiting it Sti- snitches get stitches so what so, so what what, what do you remember the and first no time that you entered <coughs> yeah, yeah, vagina yeah. with no condom on? i can remember was it a good experience for your life i was in high heaven but i don't say <laughs> that much i was in high heaven because i was quite adamant i would always Steph can't wear, remember <laughs> i was always adamant that i'll wear a coat always wear a coat and then you know we decided yeah i'm gonna take the pill blah 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 and um yeah when i stuck it in there i was like oh shit you know i had to pace myself <laughs> <laughs> you have to pace yourself down took down. three steps back yeah it? well i had to go slower well i thought oh shit whoa whoa different ball game isn't it different ball game the rest of you can you remember the first time you went raw bareback unstrapped i can't you know yep <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Go on then. Serious. Now, mine was, um, yeah, I can't see my up anyway. No, it was a girlfriend at school uh, um, at sixth form. Oh dear. Yeah, oh dear. sixth form. It, she was more experienced than me. She was kind of, oh, uh, yes, yeah, so I was saying things like, oh, you got to wear a condom, you got to yeah. wear a condom. Like, just, just try it. Just, just put it in. It's fine. Just, we just do it a little bit. I was like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah cool, cool. <laughs> but I thought, no, nah, no, nah, we can't, we can't. They just made you pull it in just a little bit. And she it's just made like, you. Huh? My one was a well, long well, term relationship. Well, I'm just saying, I'm putting it yeah, out there. So it was mine. So was mine. Okay, yeah, okay. So was mine. So but it was just like, she's like, yeah, it feels better. I was like, nah, 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 nah. Then, you know. You're a liar. No man says nah when he no, puts it in like that. No, no, no. I was in, I didn't want to, because I was just, I was like 16. So, so I just want, I want to wear a condom. Don't want to get anyone pregnant. That's, yeah, you've been yeah. taught well. Been exactly. Feel good. That feel good yeah, within you, boy. Exactly. I was still in the church then. I was just like, nope. And then. And he said, tip and goes in. in it's like, you just yeah. come out of your body, man. It's like an out of body experience. You say that you was in the church, but the church is the one that's telling you not to wear them. The church is saying to go raw. Yeah. So, yeah. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, so, and then, yeah, then that was kind of. And nine months later. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. It's Griff Jr., he's still here. He's now, <laughs> he's he's now 27 years old. <laughs> no, there's no kids. There's no kids. But yeah, no, that's. I remember that first time. Yeah, none that you know of. Special, special, special. Davros don't remember. Simples. I don't remember the first time that happened. I do remember there was one time I never am ever gonna forget this. In my, if I get dementia, I still remember this shit. <laughs> there, there was one time where <laughs> what's your name? I don't remember. But that one time. <laughs> <laughs> what's the last thing you remember? Well, back in the eighties, <laughs> there was that one time. But, um. Um, because I was the same way, like Dom's all the way, and um, on this particular occasion, the integrity of the condom let me down, innit? <laughs> but it happened like midstream. Did it so, come off inside the vagina? It wasn't even one of those. Like it, it, it was split. a thing where it, it kind of split, and when it's when it splits, the stroke on the split, you <laughs> don't feel nothing. The back stroke, you don't feel anything, and then the next stroke forward, when you actually go through the, the top of the Dom and you're you're free now, bruv. I actually went <laughs> just, <laughs> just she, like someone done Mandela like movements. Then Mandela, like, Mandela free hey. movements, isn't it? But, and she was like, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" Just like someone done like, a Duke But trust me, I was like, Aduken. and she was like, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" And I was like, "Nothing, nothing, nothing." Hold on, one second, hold on, one second, nothing. I had to try and breathe, and she was like, "What are you doing?" I was like, she moved, and then that was it, bruv. I was like, "No." D double E. Yeah, exactly. That's how I like it. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> it's hard to go back, man. 
uh, that's why everything's where it's hard to yeah. go. Back. It's, like a, it's like a drug, innit? It's like taking the heroin that, and then going back to normal weed yes, or something true. like that. Yes. Like, why? Why are you giving me weed yeah. when there's heroin out there? Because like, it, it's <laughs> and the thing about it, is, I don't know, I don't know if it, if it feels like so massively different for women, but as a man, for, for within my own experience, it is two completely different worlds. Yeah, it's yeah. like a different sex, man. It's completely. It's yeah. like when you're wearing the condom, it's like. You're there, you're doing it, you're going for Queen and Country for, you know, Mama Charles and Camilla. You're doing it. And there's no emotion. No, you, you, th- you don't really care so much. No, you care, but no. it's like, it's a different type yeah, of but care. Yeah, this but is, this is why I don't <clears throat> get that you, man, can't remember. This, this is such a big thing. And I you can't, can't remember, remember when it happened. I used to be a whore, man. I'm a I can't team. remember. Okay. I, <laughs> be, I can't remember the first time. <laughs> I, remember what I, used, I, I used to be a whore. I can't. I used to be a whore. That is a, a, an album and a book. Well, I used to be a I whore. I used to be a whore. <laughs> Volume one. <laughs> Volume two is I slut myself for, for money. That should be your, your second volume. Okay. Mm-hmm. Talking about sluts and whores, China. Oh. Ooh. And Rob Kardashian. Oh. You like the segue, do you? You like the segue, don't you? I did. Don't you? Don't you? There's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with you, you know? <laughs> Stavros, he's getting too excited with himself today, you know? Stavros gets he's a thing about his segues, you know? He's not a normal he's guy. Us. Boy, um, Royal Kardashian and Black China. It's not normal China. You have to say Black China. I don't you know, know why. Can you guys kind of explain the whole thing to Mr. Wolf, please? Because right, I know right. a little bit, but okay. you know. This, this is what Wahala knows. I don't know why I'm the one that always knows the ratchet rubbish. But anyway, this is what I know. Because you watch Love Island. Listen, <sighs> listen. I've watched Love Island for at least two weeks now. So don't disturb me about the Love Island. The fact that you know it. how many weeks it is, yes. is the problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know there was where you want to ask your woman what actually happened, but you don't want to let her know that you know that you you don't watch it. So I just let her just pretend like I don't want to know. But I don't yeah, know what's going she on knows now. <laughs> but everyone who watches Love Island, I don't feel it's not, I don't feel bad about it. That's popping in the streets yeah, right now. That's popping popping in the streets. I don't watch it, man. But anyway, so <clears> what happened is Rob and the Black China got into a relationship. This is after Black China had a baby with. Tiger, is it Tiger? Tiger, Tiger. Pussycat or whatever his name is. And um, got had a baby with him, yeah? Yes. And then he went to go with the Jenna Kardashian. The half-sister. The half-sister, yeah? So who, the, who, Ky- who's, who's, so the Jenna, who's China, though? Black that, China. That China not she's a stripper. Yeah, yeah, not wrestler she's, China. Did no. you say she's I, I a stripper? Was, was, hole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was a stripper. The wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's why she was known for, innit? <laughs> what, what, what's hoeing got to do with stripping? I thought she was a stripper and a hoe. I, I, I thought she did both. No, you gave her a, a new title. <laughs> that's an upgrade. Stripper hoe. Yes. What the hell is a stripper hoe? And that's all one word. Then. At any point in it time. doesn't even sound there's a hyphen between them. It's, <laughs> it's, one, it's all one word. It's all one word. <laughs> Hashtag stripper hoe. So anyway, yeah. So um, so yeah. So she had a she she obviously I think what people were saying that for revenge. She decided that she was going to also herself get with the Kardashian and she went with this Rob Kardashian who's very, very unstable, right? He's a very unstable guy. He's the younger brother that yeah, went he, out he, with um, the British girl. Yeah, um, Rita Hora. Rita Hora. Rita Hora. That's what he called her. <laughs> he called that. He's the one that gave her the title, Rita Hora. Rita Hora. I, I think so. Oh no, because of the saga, that's where the title came from. I actually think she's a pretty girl that Rita. Oh, where's she from? Like Israeli or something? Uh, right, right, Yugo- right. Yugoslavia. But her, her being pretty doesn't negate her being a whore. <laughs> there's pretty whores there out is, there. There's pretty whores I mean, out there. I, I'm, I'm not saying she's a whore. I'm not giving her whore status because... No, I'm not saying because she is. Because I don't know what she's done in these streets. No. But, um, and she's and, uh, Kosovan. I no, know. it's Yugoslav. Yugoslav. Is, it? yeah. is she Kosovan? Yeah, Kosovan, she's, Kosovan yeah. she, no, she's from the the former Yugoslav. <laughs> former Yugoslav. It's not called Yugoslav anymore, is it? It's called something yeah, no, else. she's, she's, she's like, from you, Kosovo. You, you make her sound like she's Borak. Yeah. I know what she's done in these. Yeah, she's got Kosovo. You know what she's done in these streets? Oh, oh, Kosovo. How do Albanian. you know? Yeah. You know I've got connections. Definitely. Definitely. I looked it up because somebody said that she's black. Or did someone thought that she was half black? And she looks like she's got some black. Yeah, there. that's that's those. Oh, she's had those, black in her. The, yeah, those <laughs> those woke brothers in it who just yeah. want to get a yeah. pass or bag yeah. of white chips. Them whole tappers. Like, <laughs> sorry, the sorry, whole sorry. Like, Simple yeah. Simon, can you just repeat that so the people? Know? What that she had black in her. She has had black <laughs> in her. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's but right. she hasn't got black in her. No, no, no she's, that's right. That's okay. right. Okay, you right. me. So let's go back to the Kardashian <laughs> behavior. Yeah? So um, so so the black China and the Rob Kardashian became a couple. They've got a TV program called Rob and, and, and you want to say something? What, what, where did you say she's from? Uh, Kosovo. And you Romania. said Yugoslav. From so Yugoslav is now Kosovo. Okay. Okay. And that's so you're, she's so you're both right. All right. Or Kosovo is in Yugoslavia, but either way you're both right. Oh, okay. But her parents are actually Albanian, which is the same as um, the Kardashians, right? No, no, no they're, they're Armenian. 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 They start with A-L. <laughs> <laughs> so then, um, 
So basically, we need to discuss how the Armenians are securing all of the good, good black jeans as well because they're taking the they've, they've now taken the Serena baby as well from the black delegation because the her bad is Armenian as well. Oh. But anyway, so what I was saying is um, watch out for these ALs. Yeah, they're taking they're taking the good the good children with the money. But um, <laughs> so. Yeah, so the Robin and the China have now got a program called Robin China. They have a relationship. Blah, blah, You're blah, blah, it blah. off, man. Me, every time I start to speak, you look, cut me off to tell me something. So, <laughs> so they, they, they basically, they are together, right? And then they broke up. During this breakup, I don't know how or why, but um, I think she's been texting him stuff, right? So she's been texting him her pussy. She's been texting him her breast and she's been texting him our shots, yeah? So during got, the breakup... I believe during the breakup because he's, I think she's still banging him for money, basically, which is where the stupid whole bit came from, I suppose. So um, he's still giving her money because obviously he's the child's father and he's just giving her money as well. So he's, she, yeah, they had a baby together. They sorry. had a baby. So together. they had a baby together. Jeez, what an called idiot, Dream, bro. I think the baby's name is. Oh, what an idiot, boy. All right. So um, yeah, so he went on a rampage the other day on Instagram and they started posting pictures of her nude, all the pictures he's been sending him. Um, then... <laughs> The best thing is not even new things. I think that's terrible. The best thing about this whole situation is that she's been sleeping with some next rapper dude. I don't know his name. I can't remember his name. But she's been sleeping with him in the bed that they shared, yeah? In the flat that he pays for. In the flat that he pays for. And okay. this guy sent... I don't know if he sent it to him or somehow he's got it. A picture of him in in Rob Kardashian's robe on his bed. Oh. Relaxing. <clears throat> Relaxing. That's so then, deep, you know? so then he posted that, said that this girl, she's sleeping with all these men, blah blah blah. She's a whore. She's a drug addict. She's a bad mother. Blah blah blah. She's a slut. She's a hoe. Oh, she's, she's a, a freak. freak. Yeah, basically. Then yeah, she, then he put, put up the pictures of the man, <laughs> saying, "Look, this is the man sleeping in my house in my bed. Look what she's doing. She's a bad mother. Look how what mother she is." Then she put, um, <laughs> then she put the, uh, the 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 nude <laughs> images on there, and they put it online. Then Ti came and said to him. Oh, you shouldn't do stuff like that. That's really wrong. And then he just said to Tia, I don't know why you're talking because you paid for my woman to sleep with you, you and your wife. That shut Tia out quite oh. easily. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you saw it. Started the You know what? After oh, this initial you thing, know? I, just, I switched off. It's like, I don't really care. The whole you know, palaver was going on. I was looking at the pictures of the girl and they were covered up. So then I didn't care even more. <laughs> I didn't get to see the proper I news. So I, I saw the proper news. Of course you would, Mr. Uh, Wolf. Mr. Wolf has always seen the proper news. Yeah. Mr. You, Wolf you, don't even see women with clothes when he looks at them anyway. She <laughs> <laughs> sees them naked straight away. You know the film they live. Sex ray vision. That's yeah, what it's got. Don't worry about it. Sex ray vision. Yeah. Sex ray vision. So yeah, I so that's, that's basically what happened. <laughs> but I think what, what, what I would like to discuss about this particular situation is this leak of news thing. Like, is it a re- this revenge sex thing? You know that you can get in certain countries, you can actually get done for sexual assault. I don't know if it's sexual assault, but it's it's illegal to uh, do revenge porn. No, I think it's sexual assault. I think there was one woman. Is it Misha Misha Bar- Barsha or something like that? I can't remember. I think she was one of the OC. Oh, she, Barton. Yeah. Barton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had some pictures leaked by uh, I think one of her exes, and it was sexual assault they got him for. That's deep. All right. Well, I know that in certain places, and I, I believe in this country, even in the UK, it's illegal to post uh, explicit pictures on the net of a female who hasn't given you permission to do so. So usually it's, it's called revenge porn, and it's when you do it to somebody that you've broken up with and you just so happen to have images of that person because you were together and you were privy to certain things, and now you're showing it to the world, and it's not good. But what Hala wants to know is it actually. Well, sex- sexual assault sexual assault well Stavros is saying no because it's not an assault but obviously it's wrong and it's immoral and it shouldn't be done but I don't see where you're assaulting somebody by doing that I just don't understand I think it's such a pussy old thing to do man I, I for me I don't understand how what Rob is getting out of this because yeah I saw you talking about this on Facebook yeah, because, earlier I didn't agree with you no, by the way yeah, but no you don't have to agree with me but the woman I think Darren actually hashtag what you're about to say and I don't even see what you're saying but I think I know where you're going with this <laughs> the, 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 the woman is 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 um a stripper a stripper <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
She's a, she's a stripper by a profession, yeah? Yep. Like, was a stripper by a profession. Or she was a stripper by a profession, yeah? Listen, once a stripper, always a stripper. Thank you. Unfortunately. This is, um. Uh, by the way, this is uh, Slut Walk's best friend. I forget. What's yeah, her name Amber. again? Amber. Amber's best friend. Yeah, so, and, and she's, she's done the circuit, yeah? I, I, I don't want to say that she don't have any rights because of it, but when you've lived the life of a stripper... Like, can you really, really be upset about somebody sharing your photos? Everyone's seen you naked already. Who's everyone? I ain't seen her naked. Yeah, I haven't seen her naked. You haven't seen her naked? Even I now, I still haven't. And the pictures I've been posting online, I still haven't seen her naked. Maybe I use too much internet. Go, go to <laughs> thefappening.com. That's, sorry. <laughs> the, the, the fap I can't believe they made a whole website uh, for that, you know. That's all celebrity nudes on there. Is that it, for research purposes. That's, <laughs> they, they, they made that, that website after yeah. the leak, innit? Yeah. The frappening. Oh. That's what they yeah. called it. I don't understand why it was called the Frapnin though. Uh, fat because Fap's a nickname for oh the vagina for knife for you don't know ah, what having, a, having, no? a, having a Tommy. Is that an American uh, term? A Tommy Tank. Tommy Tank. <laughs> Wank. <Okay, hey. laughs> yeah, so for me, I was confused about how he thought that was revenge. No, like, right. Are you co-signing this? Uh, well, wasn't that she doesn't have any rights? But for me, I didn't say that she had any rights. I said, the right to be upset. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't understand why he thought it was revenge. Yeah, exactly. That's my thing. If you're a former stripper, you cannot give someone back by showing them nude. Like yeah. I said it's like someone who's a former chef. I want to get you back. How I'm going to upload pictures of you cooking? It's just like you're not, <laughs> you're not, you're not getting me back. I think, is, <laughs> I, think the, I think the better one was the fact that you posted the pictures of her taking the surgery. Because he posted pictures of her when she was having her surgery. That might be more. That was, even, that was a video. That was more probably revenge than than yeah. than the actual. Now, it, yeah, and now she can't claim that she didn't have this and she didn't have that. So, so to me, that's more revenge, and also that has the potential to mess with her public image. So, Not really, because everybody can see that everything she's got is fake. Yeah, but nobody knows for sure. That's the thing. You know for sure. Well, I know for sure, but nobody knows for sure. If you get everybody what I mean? knows for sure that that is fake. If you threw some cement at it, it would ricochet off it straight off. It's just fake, man. <laughs> I mean, Bill Cosby's in the spotlight, but we don't know for sure, do we? No, we all know. <laughs> <laughs> what did Jay-Z call him? Bill Cosby? Damn. That's deep, you know. Damn. I know, but I saw some article about it, though, saying that she may have actually uh, kneecapped herself legally because she liked the pictures. <laughs> so, yeah, that is mad. So, because she liked the pictures, it's hard to prove that she's had any distress caused mm. by the pictures being leaked because she she's liked it. She could say that she was bookmarking it. By liking it, mm. oh, so that should be the lawyer, right? Yeah, well, that was an easy. Yeah, that's, a, that's she, an easy get out. She she's also been posting her own videos. So she, this is when I know that these people is petty out here. So she posted a video of it on Instagram of her stroking the um the uh, the bathrobe and red <laughs> cloth. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I, I want to show you the same one to show Team that he's a guy but that was okay bro they own this thing this family I just want to know how the mom's going to make money off of this boy because the mom's going to make money out here <clears throat> apparently she I think she's married to him are they married Robin Fink. yeah, yeah they're, married, they're married but she can't call herself Kardashian okay. uh, are you sure they were married I, I think so sure I that, think they got married I, are you sure she can't call herself Kardashian or she doesn't want to because no. Ch- China's a brand no no I think she can't call herself I think they've done something so she can't call herself Kardashian because they knew that it probably wouldn't last. The mum don't like. They don't all don't like her in it. Because why would you like her? Because you she was beefing with one of the daughters. Because she, the daughter went to go and bang the, the baby father. It's it's true what they say about your environment though. Because Rob's woman choice is a reflection of his sisters, basically, and stepdad mum. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that one confused me. <laughs> that one did, that one probably confused me, boy. <laughs> did you see what he said to his mom? I don't think they were married. That was not real. That was not. Oh, that was a real tweet. I saw. I wished it was. I was crying. I wished it was. I was crying. That was what. Big, what is not real? The tweet. There's some tweet that they they mocked up on screen. He said something along the lines of, uh, "My mom told me not to go with her, but I won't listen to her because she's going out with somebody who used to be Bruce or something." That, that she married a dude called Kate. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> he hates his family anyway. He hates them all. Does he? Yeah, he hates them. The, bro, this deep, this this Rob Kardashian baby is deep. He's a very, very depressed human being. He shouldn't really be walking the streets. To be that's long, that's a lot. Like that's a lot of feminine energy in one house, though. Feel yeah. like you've got five sisters, your mum, and, and your stepdad, who's you, now your stepmom. That's us. Yeah. Yeah. He's got some issues, man. He needs someone to talk to. Yeah, he talked to Black China's vagina, ain't it? That's what he did. No, nah, mate. That rhymes. It even rhymes. Yes. No, I need sound professional. But there was one funny meme though saying that um, about uh, that China. She needs to get like 
the, the black community needs to respect Black China because she's paid back for all the black men that the Kardashians yes. have messed up. She's ruined. She, yes. <laughs> yes. No, no, she's yes. She's finally she's done what no black men have done before. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I want her to get money. I'm, I'm, I'm not even. I'm not even hating. I want her to get money for this. Like she's finessing the thing. Let her finesse the thing, man. Well, apparently he's spent so much money on it. Anyways, on him. If, if what he was saying was right, was true. On those messages he was writing, oh, I gave a quarter of a million worth of jewelry today, and you know I spent seventeen thousand on uh, rent last I month. I see one and video where he dashed, he dashed, he dashed the whole stack at her, and she started. Like she got a bit of emotional on camera. Like, is this really for me? And he's like, Yeah, sure. I don't get that. There were hundreds. It's America. Can you just like, if even if you're super super rich, can you be happy knowing that a woman is with you just for money? Yes. Because I, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> yes, you can. It depends on what. It depends. Like, even if what you know services I'm getting for it, this payment. Even if you know she's never going to leave because you're always going to be rich. She's never going to leave. And she'll stay by your side. And she's, she's not cheating. She's not even cheating. Then I'm alright, madam. She's there because. You're rich. Yes. If you lost the money, she it's wouldn't bouncing. be there. But that's, that's well, a, that is motivation right there. Yeah. Never lose that money. <laughs> You'd be happy with that. If I was a lonely person, I thought I was ugly in the face, and I thought that vagina is not coming somewhere else, me and her is cool. As long as we, as long as we get along with each other, we're friendly, I get to enter, she gets to, you know, shop in, and I'm in that, that type of space and time, I'll probably be all right with it. Yeah, but what if you're not lonely and you've got a lot of charisma? Then, then why? Then they'll no, go and find another woman in it. But if I knew that... Another it, woman that would want your money. No, they would want me in it. If I, if, I don't, I, it's, for me, money is part of your attraction anyway. Whether or not it's um, somebody that only cares about your money or not. I think. So you're, you're saying women are gold diggers? No. I'm saying that... I think, same way that I think that... Um, so money being part of attraction isn't that gold digging? It's not the money, it's the, it's the security. Oh, Okay. 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 <laughs> it's a security. That's so what you what, said, but it's okay. Yeah, okay, but money okay. and security for me is li- linked hand in hand. Money and security for me is linked hand in hand. So that is why I was thinking to myself, you know, it's not really a big deal if, if the person wants you and you, and you want and they say to you that you should have money. Darren, could you be happy with somebody if they just wanted you for money? Yeah, if I had nothing else going for me, yeah, why not? And I'll cheat on her all the time, but I wouldn't <laughs> make a, an apology album, no. You wouldn't need to. Just, just throw more cash out. Oh, that's, that's a segue right there. That's a segue right there. I like what you did there. <laughs> Do the segue then. Okay, so obviously this guy's talking about 444 yep. or 444, <laughs> which like is that. a new Jay Z album. You see how when the yard man comes to the thing and everything finesse now. Uh, you look see him. Now. You see him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. put your patties away, man. Man's drinking. Leave your dragon start and Magnum somewhere else. Magnum bro. and Babaru. What the, where the hell is Magnum anyway? Magnum is the tonic. Yeah, but what wine. is it? Bro, anytime you want to jump in, just jump in. You don't have to wait for, for your back. Is it better than Ogogoro? <laughs> it's good for your back. But is it better than Ogogoro? Ogogoro is, is hit and miss. <laughs> no, there's no hit and miss with Ogogoro. No, it's hit I'll... and miss, man. You can drink type of Ogogoro. That's not good for your life. Mm. So anyway, let's go back to what we were talking about. 444 or 444, isn't it? Mm. Has everybody heard the Jay-Z album here? Yes. Let's salute um, Webs before we do that, boy. We even forgot that he... No, I didn't forget. I just don't care. No, oh, I, no I, did, I, did forget, I did forget. I did forget. Babe, I did forget. Bro. I did forget. Listen, Webs. I hope you're enjoying yourself out with Airbuff. And he's not here this week, but he'll be here. Who's this Webbs person you're talking about? Who's that? Webbs? Webbs? I thought, I thought it was Darren. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> We're just replacing him with anyone that we can wow. find. Any stray dog we pick up on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can take Webbs. <laughs> yeah, come in. Come in, mate. Come in. All right. Um, yeah, Webbs. Yeah, salute, 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 Webbs. Webslinger is still away, and unfortunately, he couldn't join us on today's podcast, so uh, we're just saluting him in his absence. All right. Uh, so, so yeah, back to more important things. Jay Z and his four forty four album. What do we all think about it? Have we all heard it first? What do we all think about it? No, no, no. I, I like that. I like that album. I'm not a Jay Z fan. Um, I've never really gotten into Jay Z the way uh, Wahala likes to be into Jay Z. I don't and, like where you put that. You know? Pause. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> like you, I don't like where you put that in there, bro. Don't don't say that again. Like that. you love Jay Z, bro. <laughs> I would say that again. Yeah, that's two people. No, you do. Jay Z is my favorite MC, without a shadow of a doubt. I thought you were just going to say favorite and leave it at that, actually. Jay Z is my favorite. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, my favorite artist is favorite <laughs> everything. My favorite artist is Full Stop Exclamation Mark. My favorite artist is Ahead of Moy Moy, ahead of Amala, hey. is Jay Z. But God, please, please behave yourself there now. <laughs> that is too much. But now, Jay Z is my favorite MC. He's, he's by far the best MC that's ever, ever done it. And I think this, I want to just prove that, to be honest. And Ooh. I don't think I'm alone in people saying that. Ooh. 47 years of age and he's bringing out classics like that or oh, he's going to be a classic let me not say it's a classic now because it's too early to be even it's a, a big statement right there bro what best to ever done it. 
Yeah, he's got, there's no one better than Jay-Z. Steph? Um, the replay value. Do you think it's there? Yes, I've listened to it. I've, li- <laughs> I've listened to it since it's come out. Constantly. <laughs> I haven't stopped playing it. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so, so constantly listening to the album. It's half an hour. It's the same as Grish Podcast. I can listen to it and, and it's all right. You know, you know, I, don't, I don't have to be there all day long. It's I 37 to minutes. Actually. Whatever, man. The album is dope. You can't... You can't the story of OJ alone, yeah? That's that the, sto- the story of OJ actually is like, you know, you might have a meme or a gif or something or somebody just sitting on a seat and it's just like they've been blown away. Things are just just sending them back in their seat. That just hit me. That because I watched the video before I listened to the song without the video. So I saw the video first or I saw about two minutes of it and I was like, wow. Mm, wow. The video is amazing. Yeah, like, is. wow. So for me, the, by far, that's the best song. You reckon? By far. It's really? not even. It's not even a competition. I think. Nah. I think it's the best song as well. Nah, not for me. What's Which your favorite song? Kill Jay Z is my favorite. I love Kill Jay Z as well. Why? The beat is hard. It's the lyrical content of that song, and each I I've had to listen to it about four or five times. I think only now, I think I've picked up every single kind of metaphor and reference he's made in that track. Because only like the fifth, sixth time when he said, um, "Was it in the future other niggas playing football with your son?" Yes. I, I always thought that was just a general reference to. The future. Just, just play just someone else uh, raising your kid and then like fifth time I'm walking on the street now I'm just like oh, he's talking about future isn't he he's actually talking about the rap it's like, yeah it's just light it's always just light bulb moments throughout the album throughout the album but that track there though is the one for me Jay Z's always had that by the way for people yeah. that don't know this is why Wahala loves him so much as a lyricist you're gonna like to say you don't like Jay Z as well Jay Z is my favourite uh, well him and Tupac are my favourite rappers so. I don't know why Tupac is your favourite waste man because oh Whatever. That's a waste, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did my college thesis on, on, on Tupac. You yeah. should have just put waste, man. <laughs> yeah. Exclamation mark. My end of year, like, end of year thing as well. I know someone Tupac. else had done that. Yeah. Funny enough. This is all many, many He's the ago. best hip hop artist. So everything put together. So you want to talk about um, image, blah, 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 thing you find. But if we're talking about MCs, he doesn't even make the top 20. Yeah, as, as a, well, Anyway, uh, Jay Z as a lyricist, Jay Z is better than Tupac. But like you said, as a complete package, obviously uh, Tupac can raise up on the list. But let, let's just go back to this album. So you're saying that it's uh, Kill Jay Z, the Kill. first song. Yeah, that's my one. And uh, Wahala and Stavros are bang on this, uh, the story of OJ. So the rest of you guys, what, what's your favorite songs? What are your standout moments from the album? What What do you take from it? Like, uh, yeah, go on, speak on it. 444 is um, something different to what Jay-Z has done in the past, as far as I'm concerned. Is it? Um, yeah, I think that he's gone of course. semi-conscious. What, what do we call it? Like, no, I'm not, ep- not going to call it. Episode that. three or four, semi-woke or something like that. You know, um, he, he's, he's kind of made an album for us. He's made an album that we can listen to, something that we can understand. Who's us? Um, boy, his people. Obviously, it's an album for everybody to buy, all nations, all colors, all creeds. But in reality, that especially um, the OJ tune, that tune there is for the people. It's like a conversation to black people. It's, it is for the I, people. I don't call me. it woke or conscious. I call it sensible. I call it Jay Z, bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but he didn't until um, what's the album where he had the uh, like the two statues on the cover. Two statues, yeah, in the black Magna album. Carta, Magna Carta. Until up to that point, Jay Z was Jay Z made a turn at that point. You could argue, um, King American, Come? American gangster, no, Kingdom Come, he was telling people about the businesses and all that type of stuff, but he's he's done that from the first album, so that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about he 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 made a change from I am this kind of person. Whatever you might count, like whether I'm a gangster or a hustler or a rapper or I'm not a rapper, I'm a hustler that's rapping. And then from Magna Carta, he changed into I am a businessman that's rapping now. And I know he said it before, but he was just saying it. Whereas, and, and I, I, he wasn't just saying it because he did do business, but at that point, it's like, I am actually the father. I am, I am the father. Whereas before, I was like, I was, I was your cool uncle. I was your cool uncle and I'm rapping to you because he was a lot older when he, when he first started he was nearly 30 he was 26 when he first 27 his first album was when he was 27 I believe I just heard him say it today 26 oh, alright screw me brother okay and um, so he's a lot older than a lot of these rappers when they bring out their first stuff because they're usually in their teens 
So he was a he was an older uncle that could speak to his peers because he was older than his peers. Whereas now he's like, I'm the father, not not even the dad. I'm the father. I'm the father of the game. I'm the I'm the father of other rappers. So when I'm telling you, as listen, I, I've said this before. Yeah, uh, as a family, for some reason, when we sat down. And we were talking about life in general. Now, being the Nigerian kind of hardback family that we are, we don't talk about, we don't share emotions and all that stuff. But for some reason, this conversation, it kind of fleshed out. And we, and my parents started talking about when they were younger. And my dad started talking about when he was drove his motorcycle everywhere. And my mum would say how he would come to her house drunk and back, bang on the door and like, <laughs> where's my woman? Come downstairs. And she would, and like her, her parents were like, get out, you know, what are you doing? And, blah. and then you realise, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My parents have done everything that I would have done or could have done or, or wanted to do. So when they're telling me, Stavros, don't do this. Stavros, do that. Go th- down this road. It's because they've done it before and they're like, don't make the same mistakes I made. And that is Jay-Z on this album. He's not the, the cool uncle anymore, which tells you, yeah, go on, man. I'll, 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 I won't tell your mum. Go do this. He's not the father that's telling you, don't put money to your heir. That don't mean no sense. Buy property. Mm-hmm. Yeah? He, he, he wasn't saying all that stuff before. He was, he was talking about what I was doing, which is why he said, I bought every V12. Now, I regret doing that. Don't make the same mistakes I did. I'm, don't I'm, even argue no, with me. No, I'm no, right, no. man. And I, right. I think he's I articulated right. it quite right. well. Thank you very much. He's Damn right. it. Yeah. No, I agree, I agree with that point. I, I, was, I was thinking more of when people were saying that he's not, he doesn't, he, this album is... He's been more personal than ever. Yes, but that is also the case. No, but it has songs like You Must Love Me. Come on. Uh, I love the stuff that he's talking about and his album he spoke about before. On other albums, he's had one, one song, song yeah. where he said something. Yeah, so from right. the first that's album, enough. he said one song. There's, Whereas on this album... There's 10 songs on this album and I would say at least eight. Maybe even all of them, actually. The, 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 the blueprint personal. was quite personal. A lot of the songs on the blueprint was personal. It just doesn't say that he's him. Mm. So if you go back now listen to 4, 4, listen, 4 okay, okay. and go back to blueprint, on, a lot of the stuff that he's saying on that Matches now. All right, let Personal me let me just say what? on this album, he said that his mum is gay. He's cheating on his on. Well, he alluded to cheating on his his mistress. He's talking about what he wants to do with his children. His cheating wife, on his, his mistress. Wife, you know. so, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's how Gaxi. <laughs> Beyonce. That's what I think of you. No, so um, uh, cheating on his wife. He's spoken about uh, shooting his brother again. He's talking about personal beef with other rappers, which he he talks about he on other songs, but he kind of skirts around it. Whereas this one, he fully talks about issues he's got with his his other rapper i.e. Kanye he talks about um, a lot of things on a lot of songs like Simple Simon said it's not just a skirt like he does he will skirt it on, on his other <coughs> albums skirt skirt yeah, he, yeah. This, that, this is what the album is about this is, this is my life this is where I am at now and I'm actually just throwing it out there for you to see it and he's never done that before Good. never now for me, it's like, it's like a therapy session. I, it is. For him. It's like uh, it's introspective, and everyone I've heard this word used continuously. But it's it shows a vulnerability that I think, especially as black male rapper, business man, former drug dealer, you don't show that. It's not part of the. It's not part of the list of things you meant to have that kind of honesty and vulnerability. And I think in this album, he has that. He's talking about the idea of blue growing up and actually searching on the internet and seeing that. You know the two fairy and like, Father Christmas isn't real, and his and her dad isn't this amazing guy and mm. stuff. Just like that's that's like a real deep thought about that, and kind of taking the blame for these other instances. He has like talk about Solange in mm. the in the elevator. That even crossed my mind that he was egging her rod. I just thought she was just going mad. Didn't it? <laughs> the elevator. I think, I think you, could see, you could see him I moving. Think, as well. Yeah, no, but no, but the it? mere fact that he mentions that and cheating on his wife, mm. and the mere fact that they have gone through this major turn of events and stayed together. For me, that's a big thing. How, of course it would be a big thing. What I'm saying, what I'm going to ask though, how do you think that conversation went? Boy. Because he's I, got, I want to know how he found, she found out. He's, he's going to have to... Maybe have, it's fake and they're just doing it for money. Oh. He's going to have to have given, get, get, been given permission to do that, right? What? To, to talk about it? To talk about Have it. you not had lemonade? Y- yes, yeah. but then she must have had permission to talk about Listen, that. Listen, they must have said, you know what? Let's yeah. just air it out. Yeah. She would have had permission to whatever day. She would be like, what are you going to say? Yeah. yeah. What, what are you going to tell me not to talk about? It? Shut your mouth. Hold up. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that that sorry, so yeah. he must yeah. have got permission. Yeah, he probably got permission. But, but how does that conversation go? Yeah. I, yeah. I think you as know. artists, I think it's just part of part and parcel. Yeah. As artists, you're more vulnerable than... than uh, and as a comedian as well. I think, yeah. I think anyone in that's in the limelight, 
when you have an artistic nature, you're more vulnerable. You're more happy to uh, expose yourself in general because you will always expose yourself in your art. Yeah, but there's one thing. Okay, so you expose yourself in art. That's fine. But it's seldom that t- both of the people in the relationship are both in the same space. It's seldom that that happens. Right. Yeah, so... No, it happens so all the time. That's No, but that's what makes this so legendary because it was back-to-back classics. Lemonade is a fantastic album. Well, they're saying fantastic. that three albums came... Yeah, three yeah. albums came so, from the elevator. Because so, 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 so Lemonade's album, album is bad a classic as well. for me. So that, that album. Lemonade album was so good. good. Yeah. Mm. And then when he come with this now, it's just, it's like, it's just back to back classic from one house, bro. It's ridiculous. This it's ridiculous. Ba- but do you understand what I'm saying to yeah, you? Yeah. Though? Like normally you have a famous person who's at the forefront <coughs> and their partner's famous by proxy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they may not be famous in that same way. Mm. So with that, like it's a little bit different. Whereas this, they're both on the same platform. Um, obviously, Beyonce is bigger than Jay Z to a degree um, in like in, in publicity and all the rest of it. But they're on the same platform. Like you can you can almost call them like for like. They're the best rapper, the most like the biggest rapper, and you got the biggest artist. Yeah, exactly. World. That's it together. And then they're airing out like personal stuff. They're illusion. But it's, you know what? It's yeah? mad. It makes sense though, because <laughs> in the end, I'm assuming somehow they thought it's gonna come out. So you might as well make it come out the way you want it to come out. And you know what Ivan knew of it was? I don't think it would have come out. I think it would have. Who's going to tell? People have so. been talking about him. The people have been talking about this. because They've been talking talk about him cheating. No, not that's like, cheating. All we can do no, no, is... Not that she's cheating. Is, um, They've talked about his cheating. They've talked about the fact that she's had stillborns as well. They've said that Beyonce yeah. had stillborns for years. But nobody's really brought it up. So this time is the first time that somebody's actually confirmed it. Yeah, so but, he's confirmed but, but again, he didn't, no, he, she, no, she did confirm it. She confirmed had, the stillborns. Yeah, they had a bloody um, yeah. video where uh, they, where they, they were showing their holidays and all that stuff, and they spoke about. Uh, their, I it was, well, I thought it was a miscarriage, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a miscarriage, stillborn, same thing. Okay, well, then, yeah, she, they, she spoke. I about didn't it. even know. Yeah, that, that's uh, okay, yeah, a long time ago, man. But I mean, for me, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I mean, a even that stuff. If they didn't tell anybody, we'd only have to speculate and speculate and speculate and TMZ. That's all we'd have. We'd Listen, where is Becky? Where is pictures of Becky? I don't know. Nobody would have found out. Yeah, no, though. Because if, if, this if both people are told you, unless it's much, no one knows who like, like he is. If they're, nah. they're, 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 they're judging think it's Rachel Ray, but I doubt it's Rachel No, no, no. But I think that they're quite powerful within the. Um Within the entertainment the world, that yeah, with Illuminati, what, knew, what, whatever you want to say, <laughs> you know me. I'm, I'm, no, I'm a conspiracy that. theorist, bro. You know me, bro. If he's you know know drinks blood bro. at night and all these things, nah, 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 nah. But I think that they are really powerful. That they could have, um, you know, suppressed the story Person. or suppressed the stories, and they chose their time to bring these stories out. And I think that we've seen so many other couples go through things like this and get divorced and remarry and, and what have you. For me, I see them as a strong black couple and I like the look at them. No, I'm not, I'm not going to dispute that. Him, him and, um, and Beyonce and Will and Jada, they, you need these couples in the, in the world to show that they can, they can go, go and be through go clear, madness. Yeah, and go through a madness and still come out the other end. Yeah, because T.R. And, and Tiny ain't doing it at the moment. No. <laughs> but I think as well, um, I think the reason Becky hasn't surfaced is because of the beehive. She's, oh, dead. God, she's dead. <laughs> but you know what? It's not. But it's not. It's not Becky. Is it? It's Becky's it, it, because the, the man said they're threesome. Yeah. So, but this is what. Okay. I want people to understand this, and I want people to acknowledge it. All you people that are saying, "How can this man cheat on Beyonce?" To us, it's Beyonce. To him, it's his girl. Yep. That's it. I cheated on my girl. I didn't cheat on Beyonce. I cheated on my girl. People are going to say, "Oh, this girl." But he sees Beyonce every day. He's banging Beyonce mm, all the time. You say that, but then the Eric Benet lyric doesn't make any sense. Then does what? it? No, it makes perfect sense. No, but he he's saying that it's just his girl, but he's not because you can't say that it's just his girl and then say that he he was Don't potentially do it, Eric Benet. Uh, yeah, Eric Benet. Which yeah, is but like, at the time when he was banging the out, best girl yeah. in the world. Yeah, but at the time saying? he was banging yes. out, it was his girl, bro. It's an objective, subjective yeah. thing, and in your own head you could do the both. Yeah, and you could say, so. yeah, in my life it's my woman, but I know that everybody knows what they like. I said, every man knows what he's got. Once you've got a good woman, you know you've got a good woman, but your penis is talking to you in it. Yeah. Your penis is talking to you on a different level. It's a different head. Have so us. that that does one thing. <laughs> Do something with someone. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Different. And also, you got to remember, most guys, when they cheat on their woman, they don't actually upgrade when they cheat anyway. Yeah. So it just you don't know like yeah, Beyonce, but, but, Beyonce might not she che- might not like cheat, do something that che- Jay really wants che- to do. Cheat is not like oh, what, what, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> let's not skip past that. What are we saying Beyonce is not doing? Well, threesome for one. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. I want to do threesome. And then there's just, just unless two. Unless they're paying Black China for one. Question. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yes. All right. So this is a real question now. Skip yeah. Because there's been, lo- there's been numerous, <laughs> there's been numerous, <laughs> numerous, numerous, um, 
<laughs> allegations that he slept with Rihanna, yeah? That Jay-Z slept with Rihanna. Mm. Big up, big right. up yourself. You, you, got, you got a one night, right? You got one night in a hotel. I think we might have asked this before in the past, maybe. I think, I think I heard. And yeah. I think we all said Rihanna. Let's ask Griff though, because Griff is here. Right, yeah, go. you got Rihanna and you got Beyonce, right? There you was, got them there for. Was, there was another one. Nah, it's those two. Yeah, those we're, two. We're going to ask Griff. Griff, we already answered before. Let's Griff up. You got those two. You got a hotel room. There are two hotel rooms. You go into one room. Which one are you going into? <laughs> no brain. That's Rihanna, right? <laughs> but, but if you, if you were to ask who looks better, everyone's going to say Beyonce looks yeah, better than Rihanna. Yeah, Beyonce is better, but. But Rihanna's filth. Yeah, it'd be a madness. Rihanna can bath and she's still filth. Yeah. Straight after the bath. No, she's, she's mad. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what you said. <laughs> So can can, I, can we just go back to last week where I said this? Listen, people, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, when I talk about the filth, yeah, this is this the filth draws you in. It's like yeah. moth to to light. <laughs> no, man, seriously, I think Rihanna would flip the roles as well in the sense of after the sex, I'd be left there calling her, being like, "Hey, what's <laughs> going on? You ain't messed me back. Like, what's happening? Just trying to." see where we are right now it's like two weeks later it's just bare messages from me no, get- resp- no response for her uh, whatsapp picture's gone grey she's <laughs> deleted my number is she gonna, still- <laughs> gonna, gonna leak your nudes yeah <laughs> <laughs> Hell, no, dick, man, dick. I would catch feelings. I would catch feelings. She would do some madness in the bedroom. So I can't go back. I can't go back to normal sex. You guys try to sleep yeah. with another woman. It's yeah. just not the same. It's not back to normal it. sex. Call, call yourself free we. Call yourself free we. <laughs> Don't touch listen, me. Don't listen, touch me. Can many you, can many you a man has fallen in love with a hoe. It's happened many a time. Well, and, and where's this randomly coming from? No, women because, fall in love with the whole men as well. Yeah, women fall in love with men hoes, but men. Generally, I find falling in love with holes, and holes tend to be a little bit more um, flamboyant and animated in the bedroom. You know what? It's not even. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> do you think? Do you think that women? <laughs> no, no, don't speak. Let don't speak. Allow there to be a moment of silence because <laughs> Mr. Just... Wolf's face. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> the fifth. The fifth. One, two, two three, three, four. Fifth. <laughs> do you think? Do you think that women that are known to be um, promiscuous in circles, or people say it's promiscuous, do you think they're more attentive to their man when they da- when they have a man? Do you think that they're more caring and loving than a, than a woman that is not known to be promiscuous? Do you, do you think that might be a reason why men fall for them? No, I think practice makes perfect. So you think it's only the sex? You see, people like to say in conversation, oh yeah, you know, sex is really important in a relationship or in relations. But I don't think people appreciate how important it actually is. Mm. You you talk often about how sex is not that important. No, but again, when I say that, I mean psychologically. This thing, it's not important to me anymore because I'm old now and, and it's dust. <laughs> but <laughs> when you think about actually sex... I know you said last week. Hmm? I don't know what he said last week. What did I say last week? Last week, I was playing the bit where we were talking about the filth from last week mm-hmm. uh, to my wife. So mm-hmm. she heard it hey. from me, not from the third person. <laughs> and <laughs> can you imagine? She has to be a whore. She has to be a whore. Well, it's more the ego bit where I was like, uh, the ego is, I love my wife, but my ego is more important than my wife. So yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. wanted her to understand what I was on about. Mm. But during that part of the conversation, you were saying that sex is important, yeah, because if the sex wasn't so good, then the relationship would be a, like a non-start. That's like, wouldn't, I'm, wouldn't, wouldn't I, move. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually adding to that point now. Okay. Sorry. So I'm saying to you that like psycholog- people don't realize that psychologically, the the impact of, of good sex goes beyond the actual sex itself. You actually get implanted with an idea about that person. The seat. They touch you in the soul. Can I ask you a question? It no, becomes, it becomes good sex is spiritual. No, can I, can, no, can I, can it's I, the truth. If somebody, if somebody can open, what well, they say, turn you out or or, or yes. turn you out. Isn't that when you turn gay? No, no, no. no. You can turn somebody out, like as if to say, like they were prude before and they're yeah, not a prude yeah. no more. You can turn somebody out like that. Okay. If, if somebody pride, if somebody touches you in the <laughs> man <laughs> said pride, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody touches you in the right place for the very first time <laughs> yeah in a way that you didn't know that that was there and then you then on top of it you realize oh my god i like this and i never knew and this person came along and they, that person has changed wow. your life can i ask mm-hmm. you a question then all that's, the man them yeah that's true would you prefer, would, would it's called you, if, if you could have a woman yeah that gives you one good 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 sex 
every let's say three weeks once every three weeks you have one good session one good good session I'm, or, taking, I'm taking that one then you <laughs> wow <laughs> okay well I was going to say I guess the regular normal just okay sex you take the one good session every three weeks yeah, yeah, it'd be, yeah, it'd be something worth looking forward yeah, to. Yeah. Every three weeks, though. No, but it's like me. I look forward to football on Sunday. I look forward to that three weeks, but <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's Tuesday. It's coming it's, soon. It's coming <laughs> soon. It's soon. And then that's it. You'd be doing press ups and sit ups. I will between. be lighting candles, boy. To, yeah, to make sure you're ready. Lying bro. down on the bed with the, in the bathrobe like the dude in the, <laughs> in the Kardashian picture. I don't know. I don't My know. Mommy said, China See, I know Mr. Wolf want that regular bang in it. You want the regular though. Men need to release. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You need to release, bro. You know? And the wait in three weeks to burst? You're going to kill the woman, bro. But, yeah, exactly. Yes. He's yes. really yes. going yes. to A&E after you'll every be, sex session. You'll be bro. doing it for the culture, bro. Trust yeah, me. Mean, yes. That was just sitting here smiling about the, what, the, the third week. Why? Yeah. Because I'm Imagine in the third week. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just you know that when still... you get to that third week, you're not even going to perform well. You're just going to end up busting quick and be Are happy with that. Are you mad? Okay. You think the it's boy. just going to be once? You waited three weeks. You think it's going to be once? And she's supreme clientele as well. Are you mad? If it's a good session, then even if that was to happen... Is it all right to have... No, sorry, go on. Then you'd continue on, innit? Can you have like an intermission between sex where you eat and stuff yes. and then carry on Yes, after? it can happen. You it can, can actually happen. have a good meal and... You know, like you said, the table naked. People yes. do that, I don't. One of our boys who was at uni, he got a girl back to his room. Um, he ordered a pizza. Didn't share any with her. Just mm. made her just sit on the bed while he finished the pizza. <laughs> Gaza. Then had sex with her. Gaza. Then got onto his laptop and started playing football manager while she was just there. <laughs> this wasn't his girlfriend. Gaza. This wasn't his girlfriend. No, that's something she treated would better than that. Man. <laughs> yeah. No. That, that's not even that's, that's not a nice, you know. That's that's a link it's right there. It's not even there, nice. Bro. It's like a part time. It's a distraction, <laughs> isn't it? You've yeah. done. Why, why are you still here, type thing? And he ain't waiting three weeks for another one, boy. Tell you that much. Listen, all right. Let's uh, just uh, change the uh, subject very slightly. Mm. I saw a video online of um, a man at his wedding bowling as the oh. wife was coming down the aisle. Okay. Bowling, 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 bowling. Which one is it? Is the one with the two? It's, it's not that very famous one. Oh, okay. Um, but that man was crying like he cheated on that. Well, you, you imagine, imagine that, yeah. So you can. You, I'm sure we've seen videos of men crying as their women are coming down the aisle. Yeah. Now the, the best man took his the the cloth from his top pocket and wiped this man's tears like <laughs> like, <laughs> like like he was the actual bride. Are they bisexual, bro? <laughs> A pretty woman was coming down the aisle, but yeah, he, I don't, I don't he didn't just he didn't just dash in his thing like fix up. He didn't just scrub it across the man's face. He delicately <laughs> and tenderly wiped his bedroom's uh, face. I don't trust him. Pride, now, if, yeah, right. If if, <laughs> One if, time. if to get pause. <laughs> if your boy was was crying at the aisle and you had the tissue and somebody like even signaled to you, so they told you. Like, you know, they were signaling him. Wipe him down, wipe him down. Would you do that for your boy? You would see Wahala in the video going, what, what are you asking me to do? What are you talking about? <laughs> I, don't, I wouldn't even know what you're on about. <laughs> if I saw, like, I, when you got married, I expected you to cry. I'm not going to pretend or lie. I really thought you were going to bust out. Right, you don't have bro. to pretend or lie. You, you were taking taking bets on it. Yeah, my brother's going to cry. Brother. Yeah, I got two to one odds. Two you got, to one we, odds. We were going to cry, but you didn't cry. But let's say that Simple gets married, yeah? And if Simple starts crying at that wedding, there is no way I'm not busting up in the middle of the wedding. I'm laughing at I'm laughing. I'm laughing right there at the wedding. The, wo- the, the I'll be like, the, the woman probably, she'll hate me for forever because I'll just ruin her wedding because I'm there busting up laughing. Because why is he crying at the wedding? It would take everything for me to not fall on the floor and laughing. How can man cry at the wedding? <laughs> but the thing that's so bad is that if, if, if it happened and you started laughing, I'd probably start laughing. Too. You have to laugh because how can man be crying at the wedding? Uh, to the point where somebody wipes away your tears. Come what? on. All right, so well, hello, you wouldn't wipe tears for your best man. Nah, I'll use your dreadlocks to wipe away his tears. I won't even use the body, the bloody uh, cloth. Darren, hey, you wiping tears? Uh, I probably would just to add to the mockage of the whole situation. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd be wiping with one hand and pointing at his head with the other hand. Like, I look at this dickhead. Okay. <laughs> this make is sh- all recorded, though. Yeah, right? make sure the video forgets this. Like, just wave them over. Look, look, he's crying. I'll be wiping his face like that. Go get this down so that yeah. he sees this. So, so it wouldn't be tenderly, it would no. be mockingly. Yes. I like that. Yep. Okay. It needs to be mocked, man. Mr. Wolf? I ain't wiping nothing, man. <laughs> I 
thought you'd, I think you'd wipe the tears, bro. No, I, missed, I think you'd wipe I think the tears. I, I think you'd actually feel a bit emotional about and it And I as think well. you, would, you would do it tenderly as well. Yeah, I mean. And, <laughs> and, 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 and there'll be a, a sort of, this reminds me of when I had my first child. Yeah. yeah. As, a, as, a as a father. As a father. As a father. As a father. Certain things. Certain things touch you more when you're a father. Once you've seen the baby come out of that room, once you've seen the baby come out of that room, you are a different man. I didn't cry with any of my kids. You know what? The levels of this podcast is so all over the place. You're a different man when it comes out of the room. I don't know why these men think that I would dare, but I'll, because you're a nice I'll, guy. I think a nice guy does that. That would be awkward, bro. No, nah, I think you wipe your tears, bro. I, I think you'd even use your own um, handkerchief, not even theirs. No, Stavros no, no, no. will, yes, yeah, so Stavros will do it, and I'll use my handkerchief instead of theirs because theirs one needs to be neat. You see what I'm saying? In their pocket. Stavros like that guy. Yeah, and simples. Because I got a follow up question for this. As nah, well. it's arm on shoulder. I don't know if I can. I can't wipe a man's tears. I can't do it. Wipe a next man. Tell him fix up. No, no, you'll saying. be hand on the shoulder and thing. I, I feel you, brother. I feel you, but you, do, do you need a Okay, so you put the hand on the shoulder, but yeah. not yeah, wipe yeah, 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 I ain't yeah. wiping I'll co-sign okay, that. All right, and so I'm glad I know you were my best man. Well, oh yeah, well, hello. I was your best man. And I was waiting for you to cry to laugh at you. Okay. Wait, it didn't happen. But the second part of this was, uh, so this was on Twitter or something like that. Twitter. And all the comments from enough of the women were, my man better cry. My oh, man sweet. better cry. My man, be- if my man doesn't cry, I'm turning yeah, around yeah. and starting again. Or if my man doesn't cry, I'm disappointed. Or if my man doesn't cry, is that most the wedding of the comments, is over. Yeah. A most? lot, a lot of the women, they're chatting I would, shit. I would say fifty percent of the women <laughs> were saying that. they're chatting yeah. shit. Half the women were like, "That's beautiful," and then the other half were, uh, "That's beautiful." If my man doesn't cry, yeah, that was how does. Which now, man? They both have no. They probably don't have no. Man. They're single. Those ones are single. Yeah. Mister Wolf is shaking his head. What? What? What do you think about this? I think that's nonsense. I mean, what are you talking about? You want your egg in your man to burst into uh, tears. What's your What's your views on a woman that's upset on a man that doesn't cry? Do you, is it Is it Is there anything wrong with her saying that? I, you know, I want him to show that emotion. Yes. Yes. That's something. There's something wrong with that. Yes. Of course, there sounds is. like a nutter. Yeah. yeah. For me, she exactly. Yes, yeah. it does. She does. She does. She does. Nuts. Yeah, you want that person to be so emotionally uncontrollable. Let that the man be right. himself. Why? Yes, they want the man to, to 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 be so in love and so overcome by emotion that it comes out of his eyes. Women right, are obsessed right. with this crying thing. Right, well, put it this way: they should know their man before. Yeah. He, she comes up the aisle, so sh- she should know whether that that is in him or not. If you're with a man that is highly emotional. Maybe the chances are that you were uh, the child is in the household, or maybe you ain't even gonna get to the flipping wedding in the first place because you want a more masculine man. Exactly, you understand. But then, if you're egging a man to cry, who isn't really that emotional, you're just wanting a so man ma- to not be himself. Masculine men don't cry. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm not saying masculine men don't cry. I'm saying I that think everybody cries, but at, at the end of the point. day, you know, why would you egg? your man on to cry at a mm. certain time period no. to benefit you on your day Be- because it? because it's all about them you know it's all because well, it's the, all for the show the yeah, they want their I'm friends saying. to see that you made that person cry oh my, it's god, oh my god my yeah. man cried at my wedding no, I think I'm getting a sense from those comments it's mm. not like the woman wants the man to cry it's, it's like it's not an idea that entered her head until she saw another man do it for another woman yeah. it now becomes a benchmark that she needs her man to meet and stuff so like if the guy I don't know bought her, her man a bought his woman like oh, a tank she, she never even wanted a tank but because she goes well she's got a tank I want a tank at my wedding why because she just sees someone else with it so like it's, it's, it's just like, that kind it's of like com- the size of the diamond in an engagement yeah, ring yeah exactly like she's yeah a woman she'll say she don't want a diamond she don't want a diamond don't want a diamond and when her best friend gets proposed to and she sees that diamond she's then like yeah I need a diamond now I, I, I need that now and stuff because it just becomes comp- women are competitive there's, yes there's, there's, more competitive just, than just because, yeah it's just not accepted as a feminine trait so we'll never state it but they are they're competitive it, it kind of reminds sorry simple it reminded me of a video that I saw on social media I think it was Facebook and it was a woman uh, her vows were poetry mm. and when I tell you the way that she worked those lyrics it nearly had me in tears oh my god do you god. understand so, listen so, and, so, as a father so, so, so hold on <laughs> if on. you were the groom now you would be so much more emotionally invested you might have come to tears maybe but not just because a woman is walking up the aisle she invested well, what if you could, she the invested was so time front, in fact you could see it from the front so you must cry <laughs> onion see now that's a different thing yeah. now I mean, talk about the back side. Nah, nah. but in reality this woman invested time in putting these words together she's obviously a very good poet but um i like performing arts i love poetry and all that stuff and the way that she performed that on stage or on the aisle it was superb it was amazing mm. trust me 
we'll throw it into our um, social media outlets for you guys to look at. Yeah. You, you'll throw it because you always say we'll you you find it. Because I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'll find it. Ain't no at ESN thing. Podcast, everybody. Um, I find myself crying more and more these days. You cry over Stavros. everything. No, 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 nothing wrong. No, no, nothing wrong. Hey, Fever. I didn't. No, no. no. <laughs> Stavros never used to cry about. Nothing really. What unless I, unless I got angry. If I got angry, I do the angry. Do you know the angry cry? When yeah. you get so vexed that it's like you get you start crying when you're mm. angry. Even the one tear man. Oh, chair gate, chair gate in Brazil. Mm-hmm. Chair gate. Well, I didn't cry then, but one that, tear that, man. That that's what I call him. And you're close to it. But no, 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 no. no, no. But sim- that kind of anger. Idea. Yeah, <laughs> cry about anger. But recently, like that Grenfell Tower things. There's somebody that called up LBC, and their parents had died, and they called up the station with the DJ or whatever you want to call them that was very pro uh, for the people in that building. They wanted to find out stuff. They were they were vexed. They were always like defending them and bigging them up. And this person that said, I don't know if it was his dad and mom or his brother and his mom or whoever it was, but it was somebody or his son and his wife, yeah. but they had died and he called up and he was explaining, and he just said, "Thank you for whatever you for what you've been doing. Thank you." And the, he started crying. The DJ started crying, oh and God. I was in the car, like because it was so heartfelt. It was like what you've been doing, and the man was like, "Please stop, stop, stop!" And it's like everybody was just crying, and I was crying in the car with my wife beside me. I don't think was she, she even noticed. Yes, we all four of us As were a crying. Family. Yes, because <laughs> the baby it cried was, too. It, the baby's <laughs> always crying. But, uh, <laughs> yes. No, it was just deep, and I um, I cry over th- f- films and stuff these days. Yeah, no, yeah. films. Yeah, yeah. you know uh, what, what episode was it yeah. when I called him the clitoris? What was it? Which yeah, one? I can't remember, man. <laughs> no, it's not real crying. Because when I said it, it was the like a joke, up. but it, it coming like it's true. Okay, no. and then I'll still shank you're somebody. Cl- no, you're I'm the one that's gonna shank somebody. <laughs> yeah, because you're the emotional, you're emotional where you cry emotional when you do it. Everybody calls me the aggressive one, but you are the emotional one, and the emotional killers are the worst. I keep telling people that stab would call somebody before me. Those extra stabs for the reason. Just cry with the stab. Don't wanna do this. You know what Stav was come come like Stan, innit? Stan from that tune with Eminem. Oh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't come like Stan. Yeah. Stavros, well, you gonna say you gonna say something Stavros, about Stavros, the, the wedding thing, man? Stavros is the clitoris and the labia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what I was gonna say, it's funny that you brought up the wedding thing because I saw I saw a wedding video today. It might be the most gangster thing I've ever seen in a wedding video. They're doing their vows at the table, and the grooms mistress turned up oh, oh, oh. in a wedding dress oh wow to come and flunk the wedding fantastic stuff I actually covered my mouth like yeah. I was there as a wedding <laughs> Fantas- what do you do fantastic stuff I- she was going off no well, what do you do as a groom I don't know you stand there and you, you- I'll say whoever wins didn't it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you write 444 that's what you do you write an album that good <laughs> you trust have to me do- that, uh, hands down that was the best thing I've ever seen oh in my, my life days. it was it was real confusion from Jerry I'd, Springer I'd, I'd walk home yeah you just leave man I'm going <laughs> you, <laughs> you walk you kiss your mother and you leave yeah that's what I was, was going to apologise to my parents and go you know what yeah and maybe, maybe apologise to hers as well just you grab know a piece of cake but, on the way out and get me. it just I'll, like, get someone, I'll get someone <laughs> to get rid of her mate what the fuck <laughs> oh, are you still trying to get married? You still no, I'm trying to get what? <laughs> what are you talking about? I spent all this money for this stupid woman to come and mess shit up. I'll I point a couple fingers at certain man. Do man. you know her? I don't know her. I did never you, met whoa, her. Whoa, did you hear what he said? You'll point his fingers at certain man. They have never removed from the place. Is that how you're there. living? Is that how you're living? Is that that one there. Jeez. And you know somebody has to take a hit for that as well, innit? Huh? You know get somebody actually has to take. Who is it? Oh, it's somebody that I used to sleep with. Yeah, you have to yeah. Take that hit, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. If you're a good wingman, you take that hit. Trust me. Yeah, for real. I don't know. It just man. reminds me of Bed Best Man. Uh, the Best Man film. Yeah, man. Uh, you those, know what? Those images of him having of his wife in the to be oh, man, in the banging movie. his That's best friend. That's a Rob Kardashian right there, boy. Just peep. <laughs> you know. You know what? Yeah. I think that was these days are a bit soft, man. Because have you have you ever seen your parents' uh, wedding photos and, and pictures? No, oh, yeah, yeah. Of what do they look like? They look like gangsters, man. My dad wasn't smiling in his wedding photos. Straight gangsters. It looked like Bonnie and Clyde posing for yeah. a picture. Yeah. The, man, the man was looking like he was going, like he, somebody pushed him into it. Like, <laughs> like he was. <laughs> <laughs> if you hear the story, it's my dad that chased my mum. It's my dad that said that we have to go and get married. He's the one that did all the stuff. But when the wedding come now, if you see the actual image, it looked like somebody had photoshopped him into the picture <laughs> from military, military picture. Like, like no smile, no nothing. Didn't even shave. Didn't even shave. <laughs> Oh, my, my folks look like proper gangsters, boy. Like they just come out of some gangster film and get married. 
Yeah, they smile in the pictures. Yeah, man. Oh, you're mom, lucky there was a smile. Mom was happy, boy. Yeah, my mom was all right. My dad was just today, boy. Let's... My dad just had one smile on his face, like, yeah, I finally I've got I've collected it. Well, I actually have, that. like, gangster pictures from my, oh, yeah, my wedding. Your wedding pictures are bad. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank don't wicked. I think we're not friends on Facebook, so how do you see that? Uh, I, don't, I don't know how, but there are so many. I see him though. I see, I see, I see, I see Your pictures are great, bro. You can only tag somebody in it, and that's it. Yeah, you must, yeah. Yeah, I tagged all, all the man's that were in the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm friends yeah. with him on Facebook, yeah, 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 so he yeah, wouldn't see yeah, through me. Yeah. So hang on, um, let, me, let me ask a question though, yeah? On, on the same sort of theme of weddings and stuff, you know, like pictures are started part of the whole process, yeah? Mm. If, as a man... £3,000. As, as a man, yeah? Not as a father. No, let's just have a man. As a man, uh, actually, you've had a wedding, so we can even ask you, yeah? If somebody came to your wedding, another man, mm. and was dressed in a manner that would suggest that they were either looked better than you or <laughs> they were <laughs> at least trying <laughs> to look as good as you, would that bother you as a man? I forgot to come in when you said your piece. Yes. Oh, it, wow. It would bother you. Little Stavros is... If... <laughs> <laughs> the G spot. The G spot of the crow. All right. <laughs> 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 the squirter. The squirter of the crew. The squirter of the crew, you know. <laughs> so, all right. The question is: Is a man trying to outdress me on my on on my wedding at my wedding on my wedding day? Uh, yeah, like your wedding day comes. Man then, comes yes, down. So if a man is trying to go out of his way to to look better than me on my wedding day. Not just he wants to look good. He's trying to he's trying to outdo me. Then yeah, I'd have an issue with that. What if he just wants to look good and he just happens to outdo you? Well, then I'd have an issue with the fact that I'm not the best dressed person in the room. Which oh, wow. uh, hold on, Stavros takes pride in generally anyway. Yes, right. can, can we agree that Stavros actually wants to be the best dressed man in the room all the time, Irri- <laughs> like irrespective. Like we know a dude. Yeah, are you proud of that? Huh? Are you proud of that? I have. Pride. Yes, 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 yes. I like, I like looking good. Pride. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, no, yes. Question. Yes. Question. 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 Yes. So I'm how, dressed good, and I want to. Yes. yes. So how do you feel if this dude pulled you to one side and said, "Look, I'm aware that I look better than you, so I'm going to tone it down now. I'll take a few things off because I know you oh feel that." Like oh wow! <laughs> yes, he tells I'm, I'm gonna you. take off my tie. Go. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like tone it down. I know I'm at 100 right now, so let me drop it down. That's to a spinning bird kick on the. Uh, the ego, bro. <laughs> Which of a knife? You look at Stav Ricky's yeah. face. You look like a, you look like a, a Muppet. And he, That's exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. <laughs> pulls, you know, when Muppets just, their heads just shaking like, that is what I, I don't know what I, I, He pulls out like accessories out of his pockets and just put these on. This will put you up to like, oh, right oh wow. So now like, he's even giving you tips. Life is ego, fam. Life, life is, is ego. Really yes. really well, do. now you've got an, an example of the life is ego. That honeymoon has ruined me. Because the man's, it's the man's cuss all through the honeymoon. <laughs> Who is this guy? All through the honeymoon, when he's meant to be having all sex, he's going to be talking about this guy. So the man that came to come to the wedding and he told me, he told me I didn't look as good as him. He told me I didn't look as good as him. Do, do you think he looked better than me? Do you think he looked better than me? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, you want to marry him, don't you? This marriage is over. And Eddie plus one dude as well. His, his name is even on yeah, the invite list. list. <laughs> he's just Eddie plus, he's your woman's Ooh. friend's man. Any <laughs> plus one dude just that, there. Yeah, you don't that, that maneuver the guy, we call uh, to be honest Darren, we call that the sequin dress that maneuver right? that's a very good question and I don't know what, <laughs> I just know I'd feel bad like I'd feel bad <laughs> that, <laughs> that is the sequin uh, dress I, I'd, I'd feel bad that it got to the position I've got to this position in my life where a man can come up to me and say <laughs> I have to dress down to make you look you good, look good. That's, that's yeah. or I have to give you something to make you look better I just wow. think that this is not is a, this, this is not a situation uh, go in it Oh, uh, there's, there's a guy that I know that I, I always say when we go out he's the only guy that I know dresses better than me and I, uh, so when, I, when, we, when we're out and I see him I'm like he's done it again he's done it, he's done it again yeah, because guy, I, guy. I, I, I am usually whether call it ego and you can say that I'm wrong you can easily say I'm wrong that's fine but I usually think I'm usually within reason the best dressed guy in the room when I make when I make an effort then I'm the best dressed guy in the room mm. but if Gory's in the house he will always make an effort anyways and I'm making my effort and I have to look at him and be like, you won. And I'll go up to him and I'll shake I'll his hand and I'll be like, you won, you won. You I'll have to call sign that. G the money is just since is amazing and I tend to, that's my benchmark. You understand? And and as much as uh, Stavros seems to believe that he's the best dressed man, I seem to believe that as well. So, yeah, you know, I... Let me be fit like you people. I'm fat and I still look better than you people. Yeah. Oh, you that's, what what I mean? that's what I'm giving him. Well, no, but he's large. So to find the clothing that would actually suit him is, let is me, a bit Let harder. me be it's in a, a shape. good look. But in, Jeez, you see what Simple Simon has, has just asked. I've actually been in that very position, you know. 
You've had to make somebody else look better. I have gone out of my way to not wear a particular suit at a wedding of fear of looking better than the groom. Oh, wow. Only you. Gone out of my way. Mr. Sweet Boy. I'm I've, not a sweet boy. You know? I've looked, I'm not a sweet boy. You know? I, don't, I don't even have to be. I think I look nice in suits, innit? I, I've, looked, I've looked at the suit. I don't think I you're thought, tall enough boy. to wear a suit. <laughs> Don't listen to these guys, man. Don't oh, no. oh, listen to these guys. He has to wear. Don't listen to these guys. He doesn't wear belt. He wears the braces. Braces, yeah. No man. The whole trousers. That man looks good in suits, bro. I'm not dissing you, Mister Wolf. You, you are a slick looking type of human being. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push that on you. You know why I asked the question? You know where the question come from? Where? You know, um, uh, it was um. Stav's daughter's birthday the other day. Mm. Why did my daughter turn up in a sequin dress, please? <laughs> she looked like a supreme. That's what I'm saying to you. Why did she and she danced like a supreme. Oh, listen. Yeah, I did. So she I was dancing <laughs> like a supreme. I was sitting there Literally. watching her. I was thinking, why did it have to be my daughter that comes in a big sequin dress, you know? It's going to like they didn't come together, you know? Yeah, <laughs> but he, like, 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 she didn't drive her there. Like she turned up by herself. I didn't dress with her, her yeah, though. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with coming in a sequin dress. If you're going to an African party, a sequin dress is not going to outshine anybody else there. It's true, true. So true. that's not a problem. No, that sequin dress was it got mentioned. I mentioned it. I'm yep. like, wow, look, yeah. Nah, man. There's she always there's, <laughs> African places. There's always gonna be customs. Since, since when have you said a two year old dress? It's, it's, it's a sequin two dress. Year old. I didn't even notice. I just noticed straight as she walked in. I was like, wow, that's fantastic. Where's that dress from? Big wheels keep on turning. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> pussy on burning. No, I didn't. I didn't notice. Rolling. I didn't know the dress was wicked, man. It was, it was, it was shimmering. I just noticed the dancing, and that was when she I was said dancing that. like Tina. Because what it was, we was sit, when I was sitting down, I was sitting down with the Niger, uh, with the Ghanaian contingent. You know who you are, uh, Wendy, Delali, uh, Aquia, and we were discussing, <laughs> and um, yes. we were discussing the idea that her turning up in the sequin dress was equivalent of a bridesmaid turning up in a white dress at a wedding. So that's where the question came from. Okay. But as a man though, were you really so going to be So are they trying upset? to say that they uh, outdid my daughter? <laughs> is that what they're saying? No, no, no. So you all right, all right. Is no, that, no, is that no, what no. I said? No, no, that's not Why did it come up in the first place? No, it came up because she's wearing a, a big yeah, bright sequin dress. Yeah, this wife. This is what you Ghanaian people are doing. Exactly. I told him not to talk to them. I told him not to talk to them. And he's half type of human being. But you spoke to them anyway. Just say no Did you eat from their plate? Did you eat from their plate? From the Ghanaians? You're wrong. Did he eat from the Ghanaian's plate? And you're wrong. You did, innit? That's your problem. You're not serious about life. No, but with regards to the man, then one, I don't know. I, I don't think I would care. Like, I'm not at my for wedding. Me, I wear my suit. I think Stab's going to look better than me at my wedding. I, I, it, it, look, potentially, Stab might look better than me at my wedding, depending on if I let him dress me. I don't care. I don't I'm care. I'm going to be best man, innit? So, I I'm really I'm don't care. Be dressed as a best man is dressed. Yeah, but then you end up doing something that will give it a oh, bit more no, finesse. No, 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 no. I don't have a problem with you doing so, but. Potentially, he could I, end up. I even don't wear patterned me. shoes on we- to weddings because I don't. Because uh, uh, you know, there's some groom and they're not wearing the patterned shoes, and it's like, come on, bruv. They got, you got a nice tux or something, and you're not wearing the patterned shoes to go with it. Come on, man. Come on, bruv. You are taking it way too. You're I'm taking not, it way like, too project wrong, Ray. No, I feel that you, <laughs> it, it's it's not as big a deal when a man does it, but it's still. I don't think as a groom you should have people in your party. That is looking better than a group. I don't have a in, in, if it's English clothes, I don't have an issue really. I don't care. But when it comes to the, the Niger clothes, traditional, I must be. St- I, I, that's the one time I don't oh, care. About, I don't, oh. I, that's the one time I don't even care if I do the, the because as far as I'm saying, men's clothes in traditional looks better than women's clothes. Yeah. So when I come down in my Agbada, <laughs> when I wear the Agbada outside, I don't. I, I must. I must I, even even the big uncles have to say mm, yes. Now nah, you know what. Okay, so can I? They have to drink a stuff. Would that be an issue then? If I if what? my brother looks better than yours, if your brother yes, looks it's got this. It's got the sequin. It's got it's got the stitch <laughs> is nice. The, the lace is all off. <laughs> the lace so is on. Yeah. The lace is on point. <laughs> there is, there oh, is, oh, so there you, is can, no, you can relate now. There is no reason in life that your brother should even come close I to it. But this is the point. You should even have a brother. You should wear like a common cloth. No, as 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 at my age, yeah, as an elder, you wear a brother to a wedding. But my age to my brother's wedding, I shouldn't be wearing a like brother in the There's first place. That, that my... is like trying to outdo the groom. There's one time <laughs> that my dad, yeah, wore a pink agbada, and I said, "Dad, Dad, you can't wear that outside on the road. The bad was bad. It was pink, you know. <laughs> How can I be wearing pink agbada? You know what agbada is? That was to a wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah he went to a yeah. wedding. I said, "Dad, you can't wear this to a wedding." That was like five, was five years and five days ago. That's how that's it how was fire. The... I know. I don't, <laughs> it exactly. was fire, like pink, you know, bright pink. Before Cameron was doing it, fam. But it was fire. I said, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. And he stood out. He it? got a lot of comments. Yeah, yeah, he got a lot yeah. of comments. 
You got a lot of got, the one thing about my dad, yeah, when he wears his English, he does not care. He's wearing, there's times when I'll be sitting next to him looking at albums from the seventies and he's wearing the same shirt that he's wearing next to me. And I'm not even exaggerating. This is the truth. Yeah? We're not exactly. This is the truth. The same shirt. I look at the new album, I look at the man, he's wearing the same thing with yeah. the buttons a bit more stretched. Yeah? That's it. But when it comes to his Nigerian clothes, when it comes to his proper attire, that's when I see my dad goes to shine. He will tell like when he wants to go away because go and get me the old white one. I mean, that's yes, it. Dad, that's right. it. No way, I've got to find it through. And when he, when he actually tells like, like the tailor what he wants, he see that he actually cares about this. Whereas mm-hmm. before, any English person doesn't care. I can I can see you moving like King Jiffy Joffa. Joffa, I, I want it. You know that I want bit in the film where he comes to America to see his son, and mm. and they're playing the music. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I can see you just yeah, just coming with out the, the car. proper leather shoe yes crocodiles type shoe you with, know with with air vents that's it Dar- darren would you be annoyed if another man comes and outshines you at your wedding <coughs> talk about me what about you um nah i'm i'm, t- I'm just chief guest in it at a wedding it's all about the woman's in it so i'm lucky that she's even acknowledged i'm there in it it's all it's all, it's all about the woman no one cares what, I look what like. can happen on your wedding day that would bother you because you seem so chilled and laid back uh her not turning up um, <laughs> <laughs> that would that would that would that'd mess things up um yeah just anything like that just Anyone coming in late and making noise? You're gonna come in like coming quiet. Just sit down at the back. Just oh, like yeah, don't just, mm, mm, yeah, don't just um, yeah. I, I think I'd have a. I'd just, I think I'll close the door at a certain time actually, just to teach blacks a lesson that you need to be on time. <laughs> Bruh, I did. Yes. I did. I yes, yeah, I did I was the like, same thing. The, yeah, the ceremony starting at this time, and then when they're there, at, you know, did, one minute past. Look, did, did, did you stuff? Did you do? Did you do that stuff? Or did you turn up two hours late? It was, <laughs> it, it was one hour late, and I had a wardrobe <laughs> malfunction. Thank you. What you, happened again? Oh yeah, it's so embarrassing. I I, I I'll, I'll say the story. I I don't even want you as a family member. I don't even want you to tell the story because well, it's that I, embarrassing. I had a wardrobe malfunction, and so that's why I was like, basically. But <laughs> back, back, <laughs> back to Darren. Less of me, yeah. more of Darren. What? Because we listen to your podcast. Yep. Yeah, and you you don't seem phased by. I mean, you have your 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 gripes. Yeah. But what phases you in life? Because you hear us and you hear we're, we're all a bunch of old moaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're a bit older than you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. So, what phases you? Apart from Tottenham. Yeah, uh, yeah let's leave that for yeah, you. <laughs> Even that doesn't seem to phase him. No, not really, yeah. um, No, not much. Not much. I'm not even trying to be like super cool on the podcast, JP. I can't, I can't think of it. There'll be something that will happen. I'll, I'll not think of something, but... When he's battering not, his yeah, toast. A, a certain type of person. Does your older um, brother get on your nerves? No. I can't see him. You know? No, I can't see it happening. No, we get odd. We, we generally get odd. It's like, yeah. All your siblings? Yeah. Mm. You don't argue? Not like these two, no. bro. You see yeah. what it's, age, it's the age travels, gap, isn't it? They're much up, they're older, so. So he's got respect for the elders, you get me? Yeah, it's just there's different dynamics. There's, What's the dynamic? It's like a kind of halfway house between kind of parent and siblings. So it's. Yeah, man. Yeah, so you've got the respect of an old, like, of a kind of parent, but then got the kind of. So they kind of like the on on, on, cool, a, on cool, a level cool. of. Yeah, so if something rubbish happens in my life, I'm more likely to talk to one of my siblings before going to my mum. But actually, in more recent years, I probably talked to my mum more about things. But yeah, it was like a nice middle road to be like, this is serious, so I need to talk to someone in my family about it. But I don't really want to talk to my mum about it, so it was good to have like older brothers and and sisters and stuff. So. Okay, well, that's yeah. that's a good little slipstream into homeschooling mm-hmm. that Mr. Yeah. Wolf wanted to talk about. He, he, he's got this video clip of, of a young child. Well, I think he's eight years old. He's eight years old, man. And uh, his father has got him blindfolded, put in and unassembling a gun, well, two, two guns or whatever, mm. figuring out what uh, caliber mm. bullets he's put his, in his hands, blindfolded again. And then he's drilling him with certain questions about what's the 13th Amendment. Uh, Bits on black history. Yeah. So, and the boy is just regurgitating uh, all this pro-black information that the father's asking him. So, whilst assembling and disassembling. The yes, do, the doing it simultaneously. So, the question was, uh, what do you feel on homeschooling and should we be teaching our children? For what? Should we get, <laughs> should we, yeah, basically, should we get our children? prepare them for war at a much earlier age well first of all we have to uh, establish what war you're talking about 
And what kind of homeschooling? Is it one, two, threes and ABCs? Yeah, yeah. Or are you just talking about black history because you're not going to learn this in school, so I need to teach you at home? Yeah, it's the warm basmati, the warm. <laughs> yeah. Stay, <laughs> away from, stay away from Ghana! Ghana! <laughs> 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 Well, we've got this systematic thing going on as far as I'm concerned. Um, uh, us as black people, we've got a lot that we deal with, black men, black women. Um, and do we need to highlight this to our young kids at a much earlier age than we do already? You know, some people probably don't even do it. And I'm talking about from the ages of three and four. Can I, Starostas will say that I don't, I don't have this issue of because I'm black, I, I feel this and that. I don't know if it's maybe because the way I was brought up, maybe it's Wahala can co-sign or rubbish what I'm saying. But I don't feel because I'm black, I feel I, I'm less anything. It, like, no, I, it, I, no, I, no, it doesn't make you less of, of anything. It it just, you as an adult and as a father, as, 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 a, a, father. Uh, as a father, <laughs> you are uh, more open you 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 can see what is going on in this world that we live in. Yeah. So um maybe our parents didn't prepare us for uh, uh being exposed to some of this. I think that they did. No, you, it's you know different. what it, you know what it is? I think that, I think with my parents anyway so much some, pride. some some people they cheat there yeah, they 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 have people that will teach you to say as a black person you need to be better. You need to do better. You have to be better than the next person. Whereas our parents was just said you're better than everyone. Mm. Be better than everyone. Not as a black person, that didn't matter. Don't matter. No. There was one time mommy actually said, as a black person, you have to work twice as hard. She never said it to me, boy. Yeah, she I'm, said I'm it that great anyway. only once, and this would have been... It was to you, though, My it? memory's so poor. <coughs> it was to you, yeah? I rem- what's, your, what's your point? Well, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> you needed the encouragement. I just, I just remember her saying that once. Once. But um, it was only said once. It wasn't something that was drilled into us. Like what I said, it's just like, you just need to do good. We we have a lot of pride in our family and stick. Remember the word pride, underline it because we're going to come back to that as a last topic. Um, and I just feel that because of the pride in our family and the pride in our home, you just need to do good. You need to keep up. Don't let the team down. Basically, it's a don't let the team down kind of thing. And I think that's good enough. That's what I'm happy to do for my child. In terms of homeschooling, I do believe I'll do the the Black History stuff because I'm not relying on anybody else to teach them about. Uh, the Ghanaian heritage and the Nigerian heritage that they're born into. So that's something that I'm, I take very seriously. And because academically, I'm not necessarily the best. I'm going to try and send them to the best schools so that they can learn the academics with, you know, their, their, their free hours kind of thing. Yes, that's, that's fair enough. When, when I'm um, talking about the, I used to go to one shop, um, Local to me, a Caribbean shop. The food was amazing, unbelievable. Fish. I know it's my old North food. You know me and food. But um, he taught his children from home, and when I mean homeschooling, I mean they stay at home. Mm. They don't go to a school, and um, he did that to one of his um to his uh, to his eldest son, who is now in his twenties. But he was so far advanced than the kids in the school when he did go in i think he went in when he was around 14 or 15 to take exams the gcses and what have you he was so far advanced um that it gave me cause for thought in all his lessons in everything in everything there was some that he was um stronger in general in general he was more advanced than his peers do you understand and we've seen a video as well of a woman home teaching her kids and they're supposed to be geniuses as well, I remember posting a video. Oh yeah, but they were very young. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. they were very young. So my thing is, is, is not so much as just throwing the little bits of African history and you know history of your forefathers and what have you. I mean proper homeschooling. I was homeschooled for a bit. I was homeschooled for about two, three months because I, I I refused to go to a school that they asked me to go to. And you know what? I was quite advanced when I got to school in That's two subjects. Saying. English and maths. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the Africans because, care about. Because from 9, p- 9 a.m. when my dad woke up to go to, to, to go to work and he woke me up to do it, he gave me a maths book that was not nowhere any level that I should have been doing in the first place. The one maths book from Nigeria that I don't know who teaches these children how to do it <laughs> and an English book. And they said, hey, dudes. <coughs> and I was there from 9 to 6 That's when good. he came back. So but, that was it. I didn't know geography. I didn't know French. I didn't know uh, uh, any of the languages or anything else. RE, I knew code of church, 
Science, there was no science. I knew what existed. That's it. Everything else was just English at best. I know my limits and I'm not uh, equipped to, to homeschool my child. Mm. Uh, all the lessons that I feel they would need. <clears throat> um, yeah, they, they, I, would have to, I would have to learn all this stuff myself. I'd have to stop going to work, basically, yeah. to, to teach my child. And uh, I don't know what the benefit of that would be. Because I think I'm all about teaching them life lessons. I actually, you know what? It sounds really bad, but I actually don't care too, too tough about what they do academically. Oh, wow. It's, it's that. I'm the, the I'm the exact opposite of what my parents were. So I say, is this guy even Nigerian? Yeah. yeah I'm I'm this guy, <laughs> if the blood is done. I told you the gun name in him. I told you. She's doing all of this to him. She's doing this. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not first. Uh, not not like it means nothing to me. Uh, in it. <laughs> oh my! Uh, mommy and daddy, this is one that if you hear this, I'm I'm sorry. I apologize now in advance. But you know, like I said, I want to send them to the best schools. I'm saving up from now to send them to private schools. So it's not what. It's not that I don't want them to succeed on, and to on. excel. Them. Gaza. <laughs> well, okay. Well, I'm. Uh, well, yeah. Okay, them potentially. Life is ego, though. In what sense? In everything you say, life is ego. So, so what, you want to be the one child who comes back, the dance child, because that's what they're gonna be. They come back with E, and you're gonna well, be looking in their face, want, and I everyone want, else has got. Because my child's coming back with some good grades, okay. and your child's come back with E's. What's what? I want them to have Nonsense. life skills, and that's more important to me. So what, they can make fire, and, but they can't and, read. They can make fire, but they can't <laughs> read. <laughs> 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 Darren, it's simple oh, and griff, man. What's going on? Oh dear. Um, yeah, now I get the homeschooling thing because I think schools only teach us how to get jobs, and they teach mm. us to be employees. There's no kind of entrepreneurial skills. No, there's no. Don't, you're not Public taught, schools for yeah, sure. you're not taught like finance or anything. Thank like that. you. Thank you're, you. You're just taught how to just be a drone in the system. Thank and you. That's it. Um, so I get why people wouldn't want to send the kids to school but I think those gaps like Stav said you've got to fill in as a parent so you have to teach them those things and um, yeah I think just you kind of have to teach your kid to have two brains especially as a black child yeah they're going to have to do the history at school and all that boring stuff and get the grades because that's the system we're in but then you've got to equip them with the other brain that says right this is your history and this is what you need to do and this is how you need to be financially and this is how you to be in life and learn how to make fire and, <laughs> and, and that's that like systematic that. war that, that yeah. I'm talking about you know just generally and, and just, just, yeah, that we and just learn those with. things simultaneously I think so but similar to what Stav said the homeschooling thing if you're not equipped to teach them yourself like I don't think I would be I wouldn't have the time more than I think I had the knowledge to teach them all the things they need to know yeah you're gonna have to send them to school but yeah fill the gaps with the, the other things so yeah as a parent I feel like I'm a bit of a no thing. no 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 Mm-mm. As, as a, a father, father. As, as yes, you're right. As a father, <laughs> I feel like I'm a bit of a failure in this area, in this in this sense because um, is two, yeah, but I don't feel like I have the necessary demeanor to be a teacher in the homeschooling sense. You're not patient enough. I yeah, I don't think I don't think I have the. There's a, for me, I think there's a certain set of skills that you need to be able to teach somebody something. Um, and I don't feel like I've got those skills. That's I mean, very interesting that you say that because I think that of everyone sitting at this desk, you are probably the most equipped to teach someone. Wow. Not in the way, fact that with knowledge, don't get yourself, you're not smarter than me. No, I don't mean, <laughs> I don't mean, <laughs> no. But I'm saying is that I think that you have the best demeanor to actually teach someone. The way that you actually speak to people and the way that you explain things is the way of a teacher. You, wow. don't, you don't explain things in a way that I would explain something. Whereas I don't actually really care whether or not you know or not. I just, okay. I'm just saying it to prove my point you actually explain things to people in a way that you want them to actually understand what you're saying, which is the way that a teacher is supposed to do it. So uh, for you to say that you don't think you would have the skills or the ability to teach, I think you're not paying attention to your own skills. Okay, fair enough. But that's how I felt anyway. So like even with my daughter at the moment, I try to teach her as many... But the way I teach her things is... Um, the, the, the things are enrolled into our everyday movement if that makes sense so it's not like i'm sitting down and saying okay this is this this is this is what so for example the way i taught her to count was um live in a high rise so the elevator's got numbers on it so i basically just told her what the numbers were and every single day obviously when we go in and when we come back Mm. 
we're counting. That's ghetto we're, teaching right there. Uh, ghetto teaching right there, yeah. hood stuff. And then on the way to school, we did colours for cars and all those kind of things. So now she knows what colours are and because we're walking and we're like, yeah, what colours that? Oh, I don't know, daddy. What's that? Explain it to her. So that's how I'm doing it. But for me to go into like a, like a subject, for me to go and teach like history, for example, <laughs> I don't know that I would be able to do that. There's, there's one um, uh, thing that you can buy online, uh, teach my child how to read, that you can get your kid to learn how to read. Maybe you want to pick this up stuff and you uh, simple that you can get your kid to learn how to read by the time that they're two and a half three and four years old fluently and apparently it works you know um i don't think that sometimes you need specific skills sometimes you can get like a template and teach that way um and i think that it's something that i would have liked to have done my it, kids are, it's never too late man. it's never too late um but they don't say the but yeah, that, that but is the late, defeat then. is that but is, is leading to the defeat is yeah. one of your children is definitely not that old that you can't still sway what they yeah, do seven. listen seven. what Simple Simon is doing is uh, Mr. Miyagi business there man the wax on wax off and it, at, when it gets to the point in, and you can use that in every facet of life facet so you're talking about biology and history and geography and like, like me and Griff are saying these things are important yeah but once you leave school how, what, what do you really use you are t- Common the, sense the, is what you need to teach your life. Child, well, it's not because common sense is is uncommon. Is, common is, to common people no. and in the animals' kingdom. <laughs> common sense is common. I hate when people say common sense is not that common because it wouldn't. If it wasn't common, then it wouldn't be common sense. It's It'd uncommon to common people. Common means common, so it's common sense. But not everybody has it though. Oh, you lot are gonna go back and forth now. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> all right, all right. But what I'm saying is just that it's the life skills. It's like the finances. Yeah. It's it's like this four forty four album. It's like. T- Oh, we're going back to Jay. It's, all, it's, it's full circle, baby. It's full circle. It's kind of like, look, these are the things that I have learned throughout my life and I'm going to bestow that on you in good time. Not when, not so you learn these things yourself and I'm not going to teach you as like maybe our parents taught us where it's just do this, do that. No explanation to it and no finesse to it. Maybe there's a way that I have to give it to you like the uh, suite in, in the... In the in the what do they call it the um, the, the, the medicine okay. the Cal- medicine Cal- yeah sweet the medicine yeah. okay all but, right going back to the four 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 you can actually run this up again and and, and go to Pride because the man's mum is lesbian okay you did the you did the the, the segue yeah go ahead man take it all right so take yeah so I've been noticing that obviously it's Pride is it Pride it's a whole month for Pride yes yeah, month but it's gone though isn't it because Pride no, month was June no no no. Yeah. No, no, no. Because they haven't, had the, they haven't had the festival yet. The festival's tomorrow. So the Pride Month is July. It's of, every month, it seems, man. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it, may, not, it may go not, into two months. It's not every month, but it definitely was uh, June. June, it was when it, the whole thing kicked off. And uh, yeah, we're into July now. So yeah, it's not actually. How long? What date is it? It's July, July the 6th. F- yeah, yeah. It, was like, it kicked off in it's June. Seven, eight. July. Eight. It kicked off in June. Oh, okay. it's, different eight. it's even rolled over into April. <laughs> in yeah. April? Oh, wow. So we kicked, it kicked off in June, but yeah, it's like a whole month because there's a whole TV series going on for it. Like, right. there's a lot but going on. Make a point, make a point because what? I disagree with the point. So. What, 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 point? Yeah. Okay, so the thing about it is I have to, I seem to believe that every, I'm going to put it, everybody is involved in this pride thing. Right, so that means all that's corporations. Not be- that's not what you said before, because I wouldn't have argued with you there. What did I say before? Then? You said that it's the biggest event. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The pride has now become the biggest event of the year. That's it. Yeah, and all the corporations are back in it. All the, like all, every major corporation is back in pride. Yeah. Like it's not yeah. the same way as Car- Carnival, which used to be a major event in the year, does not get the same back in as this pride festival. Which Greg Hands, the MP for Chelsea and Fulham, wants to move from Notting Hill, the punk, and they actually went and told people. I don't know why. He, do, he doesn't want to move it. He wants the GLA to take it over. And move it. No, 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 no. He asked for it to He's, be moved. He yeah, said no, move listen it, Listen to what I'm saying to you. Listen to what I'm saying to you. He, he said... Teach, he's teaching us, God. He said... <laughs> <laughs> he said that he would like to put in a request for the thing to be moved and to have the GLA... Uh, does it take over the, um, in conjunction with the people that are already doing it? Can you but, rewind it, please? No, but... But I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm but you, you did. That is exactly, exactly what you did. You I didn't disagree. disagree with you. You did. I, I, I didn't. Did. <laughs> yes, All right, Griff. You're the impartial. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm here to. Cl- I was clarifying the point. I wasn't disagreeing with you. Griff, as the impartial. I didn't say no. You're oh, wrong. I didn't say. I didn't say no. You're wrong. I said. But this is the first time in 
in seven years of podcast and I want to stop the thing and play it back to him. <laughs> I, did <laughs> my pod- I didn't disagree with you. Yes, you did. We said okay. he wanted to move Carnival. You said, no, he didn't. And I said, yes, he did. Okay. And you said he wanted it taken over by the DRC. I said, it. and he wanted it moved. So here's the point I'm making. The reason why he said that he wanted it moved is because that is, uh, what do you call it? A smoke screen for what he really wants, which is he had the GLA take it over. Somebody else hosts this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, like, man. I'm done with this. Pride. Look at the ego, fam. Trust, trust, trust. Look at the ego, 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 yeah, ego, so I'm, ego saying, I'm saying it's a smoke screen. That's all. Nobody's aren't disputing whether or not you're saying it's a smoke screen. What we're disputing is the fact that he told us that we that you didn't say that it wasn't. He didn't want to move it. But anyway, let's head over there. Check. But the, but <laughs> the, this pride thing seems to be everywhere. Obviously, people have I've seen a lot of people complaining or complaining and and mentioning the fact that there's a new like button on Facebook, which is the pride flag. Which no one understands what it signifies. Maybe that you're proud of the comment. I don't know. Maybe you should like your own comment is, with the pride. Are you for real on Facebook? Yeah. yeah. They got the flag. Are your children on Facebook? Hell no. They got the flag, boy. They got the flag. So if you no, listen, 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 are your children on Facebook? No, <laughs> social, media. <laughs> so no we, social media until 16. So they've got the, um, obviously got the like, dislike, sad, angry, blah, blah, blah. And now they've got a pride flag. I was thinking, what? When I get to see, I think, what's this for? Then I thought, okay, it's for Pride Month. Then I started seeing on the Metro, when I read the Metro, the Metro now, um, and I'll go to the, we've got the football articles because it's transfer season and I'm on the Metro quite a bit. Their uh, logo is the Pride Colours. Every, Everywhere every, I'm looking, every, every Pride Colours. Google. The Skittles, Skittles have done their thing for the Pride uh, as Volvo. well. Google. Volvo. Google. Because Volvo, Volvo's got the feminine symbol. Virgin, Virgin and Airways. They've, they've locked the two together. Yeah. For like, if, yeah. if you want to look at it that way. The underground, you know the underground stations, some of the stations have I got... I did, our trains yeah. completely changed colour. Yeah. This is this is like the biggest thing on the planet right but about now. My only concern are you, about are you this... Are trying to say in this agenda to push the... No, what I find interesting about this the most is the fact that... Um, I think it's fair to say the L- <clears throat> LGBTQIA QQ community is uh, a minority. I think that's fair to say, right? Yeah, I would say this, that. This yeah. is the craziest misrepresentation of a minority that I've ever seen because because of how uh, visual it is and how um, uh, apparent it is, it would make you think that this was like a major majority a national event a, a national like, event yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's for me, me I think it's becoming that now. mind blown remember last week we had this, or a couple of weeks ago when Miss T was here shout out Miss T we asked the question whether or not you go pride with your brethren mm-hmm. I've had numerous responses saying yeah I'll go I'm going pride with me I'm, I'm going so pride is enough for everyone I think it, it actually might have gotten to the point where it actually has the correct meaning of what it is you need to be proud of whoever you are and you do whatever you want I think that's how people are actually taking it now I feel that's why I changed the name because it was initially Gay, gay Pride, Pride yeah. and then it just became Pride. So you might I be thought, right there. I thought that happened because of the QIA and all of the other... I heard that as well because uh, they wanted to be inclusive. Yeah. So but it's got to be inclusive uh, okay. to the point where I think everybody feels included. Uh, so you're included some, you, know, you know, in America at one point, I think it was last year in uh, San, Francis- Fra- San Francisco, which is, I think, last gay central of, uh, of America. It's the Brighton of America. They, they, <laughs> they, they added, uh, I don't know if it was brown and black to the, to the flag. <laughs> Wow. Temp- temporarily because just what we're saying they wanted to include black people and brown people we're all right. into wow. we're into right. the into the pride flag but because to be proud of your colour as well especially because a brown or a black person would have it twice as hard being gay, uh, and, black. gay and brown on, or gay and black so do you need to be gay to be part of pride no can't that's I just be proud to be Nigerian? That's what that's what that's what I'm saying. It's not even become inclusive. Yeah. No, 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 no. But, but he said a gay black. That's what you mentioned, isn't it? Well, that's what why someone? they removed it. That's why they removed those two colours because it became a problem. It's like this is a flag that's supposed to represent pride, and then you've added black and brown, which kind of in a to be inclusive, but then it makes it exclusive because yeah. those are the only two colours that are on there that are colours of people mm-hmm. and the rest of the colours are not colours of people. They're colours that um, yeah, stand so, for something so, else. Yeah, they, so they, I'm they saying, represent... do you need to be gay? Can't I just be proud of, to you be You can be proud and go proud to the Pride man, March and if somebody pinches you in your bum, don't get upset. No, I'm just saying that, you know, it's now called Pride because you're proud of who you are and what you do. You do what you want, innit? So can't I just or can't people just be proud to be whatever they are now? yeah I guess do you have it, to be it's, gay it's the same as is saying it? do I have to be black to go to the Notting Hill Carnival and it's like no but we is are it? we no, are not. do black people still go to that now yes we 
as black people or as Caribbean are celebrating something. Where, where did the Hang Notting on. Hill Carnival start? As black start people from? or as Caribbean? Yeah, well, you know what? Because it, 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 it's, it's, a Cari- it's a Caribbean it's, thing. The it? Africans moved to the Caribbean and then they came over here and they brought over what they took from Africa from to the Caribbean and then they brought it over here to, to the UK. It's true, because like Indian Trinidad just could legit be at Notting Hill Carnival and just wind up and Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. So, yeah. So they're celebrating something and it stemmed from there, but it's an inclusive celebration. Come and join us mm. in our celebration. So you can be proud of whoever you may be or whatever you see yourself as, as long as it's not a homophobe and come and join us in our celebrations. Even the homophobes oh, are, probably, are, are probably accepted, but not wanted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that on myself. But because you, okay. should, you should be able to, you know, they probably want you to go there uh, so okay. you can, okay. you know, suddenly just start busting out the leather vest. <laughs> I'm feeling free. Would you ever go to Pride, Darren? Uh, I mean, I've been to gay nightclubs before, so... On purpose? Uh, once on purpose, once accidentally. But then the accidental time, I felt comfortable because I was with people who felt so uncomfortable, it was funny. Ah. So, yeah, mm. so it was, yeah. They, so, the, so the other time you didn't feel comfortable? No, I was 18. It was like, for, like uh your first oh, rave was gay. No, <laughs> I was at uni. This rave is gay. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, yes, God. it actually is. No, it was Pure at, man in no, it was at uni. And, um, one of my friends, he'd been before. He's like, yeah, come along. It's seven pound entry. All you can drink. So I'm a student in it. So I'm like, all you can drink. Fine. But I was like, nah, I don't want to go because it's going to be full of gays. Um, I was 18, more ignorant in it. Then as soon as you pull up uh, on the outside, it has an advert that says, for a night booty love and I was like nah this oh, is too much for me this is too God. much and then in the queue the bouncer was the scariest bounce I've ever seen he was about 6'4 he had black and pink face paint on pink <laughs> Mohican black leather gloves you couldn't see his face and he just didn't talk he just paced outside he's just in leather and I was like this is just this is mad and then there's a guy handing out extra strong condoms oh, outside yeah just, everything was just like just piling on I was, I was like I don't want to do this and all my, I was, and all my face, I go, don't be a homophobe. And I was like, yeah, it's true. I don't want to be a homophobe. But this homophobe. I know it wasn't, but like when someone's rational behavior. Peer pressure. Is it peer pressure? <laughs> They'll go in, there's a guy in a gimp suit on stilts. I was like, what is going on? And then, yeah, so I, I spent probably about an hour, two hours in there. Just fit, didn't drink anything because I was just mm. like, no, nah, I'm just uncomfortable. <laughs> no, but you know, just uncomfortable you know what? Touching on, touching on what you're saying with that, yeah, because I was yeah. having this discussion with um, somebody online, right? Um, Men are men, whether or not they're gay or straight, yeah? Men don't trust other men in the same way that, you know, women don't trust men. So, would you, as if, if a woman went to a club where they were handing out extra strong condoms, yeah, right? Mm. And men were walking up and down and on stilts or whatever, their woman would in say... In gimp suits. In gimp suits. A woman would say, you know what? I don't feel safe here. Why is it not all right for a straight man to feel the same way? Why is it now that you're homophobic instead of thinking, you know what? Man, then man know how to touch next. You know, man can be a bit touchy feely when they're ready, and they can the, take advantage. The, the, dif- the, the difference is that a woman must or not must, but a woman often will have a fear of being molested by just by just by virtue of being in a certain place around men. Yes, and men can't feel the same way. When I say molested to the point where it's like because as a man you feel I can overpower another man I don't have to, I don't feel that he I, that said this the man, man was 6'4 <laughs> 200 pounds <laughs> this guy yeah this guy looked like he gibbed in, in the, the red, in yeah. the red corner yeah. six yeah, what, four. I, what I don't understand um, maybe I'm missing something here but how does handing out a condom go with going to is it, was it a nightclub or was it a bar? It's a nightclub. It's not because they, um, they had poppers in the air conditioning as well. What's that? Why? Why? What's, what? uh, what's that? What's that? What's that? So poppers is like a, I don't know what the actual proper term is for the drug, but. I'm on nitrate. In, they, put in, they put drugs in the air con. Yeah. So in, in, the, in like. God damn. So what happens is a lot of, um, so some um, gay guys will take poppers because it relaxes some oh parts of the body. God. Listen, yeah. listen. <laughs> Uh, all, all I'm saying is when I'm when, no, yeah. when we were talking on that episode and, and we uh, were talking <laughs> about this stuff this. and I said that it gets it, it goes down in, in these parties it goes down it, and I said I know and I said don't ask me how I know and people were arguing with me and I'm like I know yeah, because I, I've, I've been told 
I've been told yeah. that they don't muck about. Yeah, they don't, do, they don't muck about. They're not they're aggressive, about. man. They're like, no, it's no, but it's not. It's, what I will say to give it balance, though, is I think this club was like middle of the road because then the one I went to accidentally was just like any bar. You probably it probably take you a while to look around, but I was actually just a lot of guys there. It was just like a bar, and everyone's chilled, and no one's trying to do madness in this bar. But then when I went to Germany, um, so you went international gay. No, no, I didn't go. I didn't go. <laughs> I didn't go into this place. But this place was called Slut on the door. There was a guy like some kind of gas skimp mask on the side of the door. And they had this event called Naked Thursday and stuff. So, and that is the dress code. You have to go in naked. So, we, what? Yeah, we was reading this flyer outside. So, you could see. So, I think in that, in the community, I don't know. But I think in the gay community, they just have either super turn up parties like that where it's just going it's going down in their thing or you hear that Jamaicans turn up turn up, <laughs> turn up parties <laughs> or they're going to have like just a normal bar that that's kind of more in like open for people who aren't gay to just come and chill out and stuff so so are we to be forgiven for having the stereotype about homosexuals being raging sex maniacs because I, I think got, some will be. I think with like with any sexuality, I think no, there'll be yeah, some. I get what I'm saying. I don't. Yeah. I don't know of any heterosexual clubs where you go there and it's a it's a nightclub and they're handing out condoms Six clubs. and giving you. The, yeah. yeah, they're specific. Well, this well, is not. This is like a. This is like a everyone can come off the street. Those sex club things are normally invite only. That like they're a little yeah, bit yeah. more private. This is like a normal bar. I would say that you're forgiven for thinking that if you don't mind, or if you're happy to forgive other people for thinking that black people are violent because. Their clubs get searched more. Their clubs have have uh, gun detectors, or the some or the or the schools with with uh, majority black students have metal detectors inside schools. And then you could say, well, that's because they're violent. So am I? I'm, should am, am I forgiven for for thinking that obviously black people are more violent? The, if the, they need the promotion is the ones that are giving out the condoms and stuff. They're promoting the idea. Mm. Okay. This is the is the building itself. The that's, building that's itself that's just makes and... making it do like the security guards that they the building itself is is actually pushing that. And I, I I'm wondering like how that's this cause, works because on another night they wouldn't be handing out condoms in that same building. Yeah, but the reason they're doing it is because the gays are there. Yeah, so the reason that you have security where you have on Monday when it's a certain type of uh, event for yeah, a certain Trevor, type of person, Trevor. you might have one person there. Uh, doing security and on Friday when it's another type of event where they're expecting another kind of clientele they'll have 17 plus mm. plus weapons around the corner and then there you go but we're running very late so we're going to uh, end it there unless anybody has any final thoughts no thank you <laughs> <laughs> so let's say our goodbyes will leave uh, Darren to last because he's the least important and he can uh, <laughs> say his <laughs> I'm only joking uh, yeah, you'll say that in your, in your yeah, time I wanted, I wanted to go first oh, okay go Wahala. okay so everyone uh, I just want to recommend you to read a book it's by the author called J.J. Bola uh, he's actually a poet and J.J. Abola J.J. Bola they say Abola I said J.J. Bola okay listen back okay you and simple and um, <laughs> anyway the name of the book is No Place to Call Home it's a very good book I've finished it um it's a very good book. I, I suggest everybody goes out and purchase it and reads it if they can. You got through that really quickly. How long you had it? About two weeks, maybe? I've had it for about a week and a bit. I got through it quickly because I sat down and read it. Mm. I, obviously, I, I, um, the author was someone that used to be part of ESN. So I took, obviously, time to go out and buy his book because I wanted to oh, support. Really? But it is a really, really good book. And I, 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 I enjoyed it. So um, if anybody gets a chance, make sure you pick this up. No Place to Call Home by J.J. Bola. Fiction? Yes, well. It's fiction, but I know some of it must be part of his life, if that makes sense. And um, if you want to catch me, uh, catch me on Twitter at Big Wahala and on Insta at Big Wahala. Peace. Simple. Simple, Simon. If you want to catch me, catch me out shy, bitch. Um, <laughs> it's, it's at Simple Simon FB on, on Twitter. That's where I uh, like to throw out my, my brain farts. Mm-hmm. Mr. Wolf. Uh yes, Twitter. Uh, it's Yemi online. Instagram, Yemi's Insta, and um, uh, catch me via Facebook. Uh, yes, since Facebook. Has anybody Just ever caught you via Yes, since Facebook? Stop. I've had a few friend requests. Is, uh, uh, mm. Yes, it goes down and in the DM. DM. <laughs> <laughs> uh, D 
DJ Web Slinger, big up yourself. You can catch him at DJ Web Slinger on uh, Twitter and Instagram and at that actor on Twitter as well. I think I did that wrong, but still, whatever. He's not here to do it himself. <laughs> catch me at Stavros Boss and I'll give you our collective one after Darren Griff, the Joker. Yep. So uh, catch me on Insta. Facebook and Twitter, Griff the Joker, or you go to DarrenGriffiths.com. So D A R R A N Griffiths, spelled how Griffiths is spelled, com, and you find all my with, comedy with, podcast. With huh? Yeah, with S at the end, yeah. All my comedy podcast, radio stuff, all there. There you go. Check out his podcast, man. It's, it, is, it is actually funny. Yeah. Ah, cheers, man. He cheers. has an actual website. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do any of you guys have a website? No. Simple? Do we- um no, I got a domain, but yeah, I got that's domain. what I was thinking. I'm, I'm, I thought the same one. Mr. Wolf, you got something? Nah, you used to in it. Well, for events, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got one, but I ain't even giving you the bloody thing. But it's the same as everything else. So, um, but anyways, catch us collectively at ESM Podcast. That's on Instagram and Twitter. On Facebook, search for Eloquently Saying Nothing or ESM Podcast, and you'll find us there. And if you want to send us any questions or any requests and it's a bit longer and you can't put it on uh, Twitter, then you can email that to us at esmpodcast at gmail.com and we'll be happy to have any of that. Also, please rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. Uh, that will be, bring us up the list and uh, make us very, very happy. And we can read more of those on the podcast when we actually get them. And comment on SoundCloud if you can as yeah. well. It's we, good to see the comments because obviously on SoundCloud you can actually comment on the section of the podcast that you actually want to yeah. have a debate, discuss, or say you like. I know I'm the greatest on there, so you can just say how great I am. <laughs> yeah, by all, all means. Know already, the Bobby Brown of the crew. Let, let him know. <laughs> all right, so. Ended up with crooked teeth. Uh, yeah, it's a long one this time, but um, it was a good one. I hope you feel. Yeah, bye. Peace. Later. And if you ain't saying nothing, say it well. Slag for life. And I do you realize it's two hours? It can't be two hours. It's two hours. It can't be two hours. It can't be two hours. Because we started, when I spoke to um, Mr. Wolf, he said it was 11 on the dot and we hadn't even started yet. It's nearly two hours. Okay, so it's on two hours. It's, well, it's, not, it's like 159 there, but it's nearly not two hours. So what do you think, Griff? Yeah, I'm going to talk about it. Yes, you sound like... like, like uh, no, I, I, have, I have no problem having you back. No, it's not two hours. It's about that line. This is like. How far are you from the studio? Oh, after the radio show.